Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back. We're doing some Fire Emblem Conquest Soyo today. Explanations coming up, but first of all, thank you for your patience. It's been very busy lately and it's still not over. But I've got enough time now to make some content again, finally. So I've been recording some things. We're going to stream today. We'll do more streams when we can. And I super look forward to being back online. It's, uh, it's been good having a little bit of a break from online. But also, I've really missed playing Fireman with y'all. So, hello. How's it going? Hope you're all doing great. Let me know if the audio is fine. Um, if there's any questions you have that are not answered by the descriptions, feel free to ask them. If I made any errors, like with Leo, let me know in the chat. I'll try to fix it. You're not being rude, you're just being nice in a way. In a very pedantic way, but still. Uh, but yeah, you can see my team below, plus uh, Kor and Felicia. That's basically all I have. So right now we're doing Effie. We're going to pick up Mozu in the paralog. have a nice little warm-up. What up, Kirby Masta? Uh, Septi, we just did units, no classes. I do have a massive sheet with my plans, which I guess I'll flash on the screen real quick. Because... One of the reasons I don't play Conquest much on the channel, or at all, is that I always get decision paralysis or analysis paralysis when trying to decide what to do. Like, the very first thing you have to do when you start Conquest is... Uh, what the heck do I do with Corrin? <laughs> what do, who, do, who wants Corrin? What am I gonna do? And that's a little ironic, because Corrin can do anything, so there's no wrong answer, per se. But it still feels like there is, because you should probably dedicate Corrin to like the thing you need the most, and figuring that out requires that you figure everything else out, in my mind. So the hardest part for me was to decide what to do with Corrin, and uh, my decision was to have a rally bot Corrin. So uh, we're going to be working on that, but right now we don't have the tools for that. Uh, right now we're just going to pick up Mozu and play for a little bit. But if you're curious what my pairings and kids are going to be, there should be a link in the description. That should be this sheet. Oh, this is behind the chat. That's not good, is it? Let's do this. There you go. That's the plan. If you're ever curious about what the plan is, this is the plan. We can deviate from the plan, we can change the plan, but this is, in some way, the plan, and it might change. Uh, but we'll talk about that more when we actually have to make decisions related to the plan. Right now, the plan is to survive and pick up Mozu before she freaking dies. I don't remember how much danger Mozu is in, but since I cannot use Silas to speed up my movements, I'm gonna assume I have to, like, hurry a little bit. Today I'll play Congress differently, plus magic, minus luck, right? I mean... The more things change, the more they stay the same. I mean, that is, I've never actually done Mage Talent Corn in that way. Yeah, you did help with that, Xander. I'm not sure how many of your plans I've implemented, but definitely done that. Yeah, I don't have Elise. Uh, I think Elise was one of the last units picked. Anyway, I think Felicia like, dies in two hits no matter what I do, even with Effie, although I should double check that. Plus four defense is not enough for her to take two hits, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so let me check what Corrin can do then. Or Effie herself, I guess. We'll probably just send all three units down. Alright, I don't think Corrin can take... Oh, Corrin with the Dragonstone probably does a trick. We can try this. Effie can probably survive on her own. Let me see how this is. I also have not played this chapter in ages. Okay, this is doable. Dragonstone is a two-shot. I don't think I have a Javelin for Effie. I probably should buy one, but I'm low on gold, and I thought I might need Tonics for the next chapter. I think next chapter will be really hard. Alright, we'll just roll with this for now, I guess. Just fight two faceless. Leave, leave ourselves out of range of these. Speedy help too? Yeah, you, like hell you did. You got me killed, bro. Alright, let's go Corrin. I mean, they'll probably go for Effie if I use the Dragonstone, right? So it probably makes some sense to go for Yato and get some more Guard Gauge. Let's roll with Guard Gauge for now. Do I have animations on? I probably shouldn't do animations on because Citra, but also it feels weird to start with animations off, so let's roll. It's right after seven. Uh, this is after, yeah, this is after the Silas chapter. It looks like Citra is actually working. There you go. This one with two combat use may actually be a challenge. I mean, just because Felicia does two damage doesn't mean she's not a combat. Yeah, okay, you're right. Okay, so now we have Guard Gauge, so we can kill one with Effie, one with Corrin, and still be able to enemy phase one. Hopefully these guys change me on, on the upside here. Let's run an update. I mean, I am using 2479. I don't know what that means, but that is what I'm doing. Okay, I guess I'll just kill the one on player phase, and we'll see where that goes. Uh, the hit rate is not great, but, you know. 
A ye ass haircut. I don't remember why that haircut is that haircut. I think I, when I do Milkorn, I just do funny haircuts. Yeah, I think when you blink, Citra updates. Is Awakening still run like crap? Ooh, oh, oh, that's good. This is Lunatic, so we're always getting this level up, even if we, like, throw here. Okay, do we just use... I think we just use the Guard Gauge here to bait the next guy so that I think we can kill it and just keep going. It looks like Mozu is kind of fine. Like, look, it doesn't look she's in immediate danger, but... I vaguely remember that you can let Mozu die here. It's not impossible. Let's murder this guy. Okay. Citra only crashed on me in the private quarters, they know. That's going to hot, and then the blast again and misses. Yes, it's way too hot. Alright. I think one of my first big troubles with Conquest was that the guard gauge felt like a random occurrence. It, it isn't. But with the enemy order being a little bit unpredictable sometimes, it can feel like it. One of the things I want to say I got a little bit better at is managing it to where I kind of know when I'm going to guard gauge and when I'm not going to guard gauge. So I can guard gauge the hits that matter. Alright, how about 88 then? That worked. I think now is when we maybe Dragonstone and or Vulnerae. If I had Silas here, I would just like back off with Corrin. Or just use the Dragonstone. How much defense do I have with Dragonstone again? I got 15. So I don't take 0, but I take low enough where it's not bad. If I've only go to 15, I think they did 9 to me, so then I don't I still die. If I go all in, I face 3 guys. I mean, Blacksmith need to work on their chain game. Yeah. Okay, actually, if we go here. We could choke on like this. Oh! Electabuzz sound is so funny. Yeah, that sounds like Electabuzz like motorboarding something. Remember to always. Thank you so much, Cold Cookie, for the fifty dollars demonstrating the world's most expensive jukebox. Thank you so much, dude. Long time no see. How you doing? Alright, we're doing this so that, well, so that we could kill with Effie was the idea. Clearly that is not the right idea. Or an idea that the game agrees with. Alright, time to check Effie's damage. Nine is not terrible. Okay, you know what? Mozu is fine. Mo Mozu will be okay. We can we can hold back a little bit. Okay, so Demoiselle only works on Corrin, not on Effie. So if we want to try and make use of that, we can. I kind of want to save Vuln uses when I can because I don't have a healer besides Felicia. Felicia might spend a bunch of time being paired up. But at the same time, I think dual strikes are also good to level up my units. So I'm going to try something fancy here. Uh, five move. One, two, three, four, five. If I go here, I think they cannot get to Felicia. And she's still supporting the main character, so we still get Demoiselle. Well, we still get her thing, but we also get the Parap bonus. And is this necessary to hide her? It's not necessary. Uh, I don't think I have the thing yet, no. I gotta check, like, all the Fate skills all the time. Okay, I think it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to give them terrain, is what I'm trying to do. It looks like, I think Effie is okay here. Maybe if I go here, I get dual strikes, though, which I think is better than the four situation I was trying to avoid. I mean, it's not that the dual strikes itself matter, but the debuff might matter. And the weapon XP. Although I'll probably be uh, reclassing Felicia. So the dagger rank doesn't matter a whole lot. Oh, they're gonna stare. Oh, that's the, that's the anti turtling. Okay, let me see where he is. I think we can still make it. Oh, maybe not. He's like two turns away. Mozu! How much? How many turns are you? Oh shit, he's right there, dude. He's just Oko's or two. Uh, are we in the forest? No, I think she's just dead. 
She might dodge, but we can't get there in two turns. Okay, we probably have to reset here. This is not an Iron Man, in case it wasn't clear. Uh, if, if she doesn't die this turn, she'll die next turn, right? We can't even, like, all those expose ourselves. This might not be an easy map, after all. Oh, after a debuff, Felicia can do reasonable damage. What up, Xander? That's gonna be confusing, Xander and Xander. X Xander and Z Xander, it will be. Okay, how much hit do you have on Zbosu? I'm curious right now. 95, okay, like 80 hit. Not good. I don't think I can kill all these. So we have to be like super aggressive here then. Yep, this is gonna be bad. Oh, Iron Man. Since when is Iron Man? Since when is an Iron Man for Elitist anyway? Like, I know you're memeing, but what? Okay, I think turn one. Turn one might have to be full move, go down. Having three units sucks, but that's why we're trying to pick up a fourth. Imagine doing the next chapter with three units. I mean, this is this we just do this move corn, right? Xander with a KS. Well, Xander. I don't know. I, I just think Xander sounds really cool. I did it. Good job. Wait, can you kill with the Dragonstone dual strike? No. Shucks, bro. All right, you're gonna attack Felicia anyway, so just do this, I guess. Alright, Sepsi. Let me know when you find a way to one round with this with this team. I guess tonics might make a difference here. I didn't apply any tonics, thinking I would need them for the next chapter. Alright, Mozu, you got this. Goodbye. Best ending. I mean I think your name is cool, Xander. Xander. Okay, well you, we've we've shown off the death screen of Mozu. You know that very important thing I wanted to do. Now let's try and find a way to get there quicker. Any characters you won't reset for? Not this early. I need everyone I have. Uh, looking at my team, you know, Flora, because I already have the rally bots. I mean, I'm going to invest in most of these characters, so... Like, if they die before they can get invested in, maybe? I do have an HP tonic that could help Corrin survive longer. I think Corrin with strength tonic and Effie pair up could potentially kill Faceless. Um, well, Effie pair up gives strength, but uh, Felicia pair up might be needed for the speed. I did fall off. I mean, I can I, I can legit say I'm rusty. Let me check how much speed I have when paired up. I know I double with it. Yeah, it's plus four speed. So I have 14, they have nine. So I can double with that. Okay, now we need to cook some tonic meals. Well, I don't have meals, but you know what I mean. I need to cook some, some things. I do think, you know... Hmm... I don't know if I can one-round with this build. I might just be one strength short, because all I got is the tonics. I guess if I have a, f uh, a better sword than the Yato, but 8 might, I think, is as good as it gets. Yeah, you're allowed to recruit kids, like it says in the description. Yeah, I don't remember how screwed this corn is. It is plus magic, so the strength is decidedly not great either way. I want to say he's about average. What's the other option? Is Effie with a dual strike from corn? Effie with a dual strike from Dragonstone Corn was like really close too, I think. I mean, that duo is not good anyway. Like, not good at one running. But how would it do, right? Let's say I put it here. How far off are we from one running if we just did this? So let's try that. So we're doing 11 and 8. Okay, so even with a magic tonic and a strength tonic, I wouldn't do it. Source for Benny. Uh, I'm afraid that's a little bit too screwy. I think we just go for general Benny, so we have like an out to the, to the beast map by itself. I mean, I, I showed the the plan. I showed the sheet plan. I can flash it again if you want to. Plans rally bot Corrin, which with these stats might just be good. Mozu Jacob 2. Apparently we're going to have to wait for Jacob 2 for Mozu to get married. That's fine though. We need to work on FE support anyway. I don't think we can one round, but I challenge anyone to come up with a, with a way to prove me wrong. I've been proven wrong before. I, second, Heart Seal does not count. <laughs> Heart Seal does not count. Uh, I don't have any extra good weapons. In fact, I shouldn't have picked up some of the things from the thing. Uh, yeah, but Kirby, whenever I do that, LR starts to like, it freezes kind of. I, I wasn't even thinking where you fight. I was just thinking you know, this take effective damage or take like no damage at all. Yeah, Niles is on someone else. So we actually have some value from rallying. 
on a unit that's not Rally Man. We could speed tonic corn. Then we're like two off still. But Effie doesn't give speed, obviously, so that's like out of the question. We don't have many options here. I think we're just gonna have to go full beast mode turn one with. Let's see. She doesn't get guard gauge right Oh, she can get guard gauge right She can get attack here. Uh get two guard gauge, then get attacked. And then get attacked by that one. And that she would block, I think. Yeah, she will block the next one. And then Corn is on full health, saving us a Vulnerary. From there, I have no idea what we're doing. I did have infinite resources, but I don't have enough Dragon Vein points. I think I should definitely defense Tonic Corn, though. I'm going to do that, for sure. I'm going to be sparing with my money, because I bought the stupid seal. Tonics are like... Oh, they're like half of my budget. I'm pretty sure this is like the proper thing to do, though. I know Septi said, hey, you should one round kill, but I don't think there's a way. Yeah, that's the next question, isn't it, Xander? I think with a defense Sonic, we can take one extra hit. We can take four. What up, Rocker Gamer? Let's try it with just a defense Sonic, because I don't think the offensive Tonics are going to help me one round kill. And if you're not one round, if you're not going from two round kill to one round kill, then what are you using Tonics for? I guess to help Mozu. That would be one way. Wait, no, go back. Strength Tonic Corn regardless. I mean, I think we can get there anyway. I mean, we can buy a, we can buy a Strength Tonic. Please, I'm fine with it. We can put it in Convoy. We might not want to use it right away. It's also like one of the... It's the only Tonic I can left to buy. So let me hold off Ready? on that until we see it's necessary. Because we can just, I think Bozu already does more than one damage to some monsters. I haven't checked Didn't though. That, did, you? did not expect this. Did not expect Paralog 1 to be difficult. Dual strike. Uh, we try. I tried some dual strike combos. They haven't helped me yet. Uh, we're more than three off of one round killing. I think Corn Felicia is. I mean, that's what we did last time, basically. I want to say, uh, how about Corn Effie? And we tried a two shot with the auto. I wonder how far we're off from that. Because then we have like, I don't know if we have more bulk per se. But we do have a way to heal Corrin then afterwards all the time, which is kind of neat. We get more guard gauge that way. I don't remember what I did with my goddess icon, but I have the HP tonic. Okay, let's use the defense tonic. We're definitely going to use that. Need to do damage? Yeah, you do. Pretty sure. Renown awards? Yeah, unless I like, really don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> then we can do it. Let me try this combo. So that would be... Then we get 16 defense. On, on Yato Corn, which is a big change. I think it's worth a try. And we can also make use of Demoiselle then. We can like go here. I don't think, I think we still have to move full move though, so we can't use it yet, but we can probably use it at some point, like on the choke point and stuff. I don't think we have to move full move every turn to make it there. We kind of turtled on the way there. Oh, we, we don't double, that's right. Okay, maybe this is strange actually. Maybe this is strange. Well, we can we can do this and then go into, dra into Dragonstone after still kind of okay, I guess. But we kind of get blocked, though. Like, now we kill with Dragonstone. We can Vulm Dragonstone, I guess. We can also switch and attack with Effie. That also kills. Effie gets more XP, so I think that makes more sense. As much as I want to Vulm here. I kind of want to just full move. How much damage does Effie take? Seven. Let's do Dragonstone Vuln here. Keep on moving full move. See if it's how, how close we get. Keep her back. You can draft friendly. I I think for the most part, but on Lunatic, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't remember why Effie was getting XP for that. Because she you only got I thought you only got XP if you were in the back and you're guard gauging. Like you're doing guard gauge, but I for war. Okay, so not much happened here. We can make it here and not much further. I think we go here so we don't get trapped. Uh, I think... I think taking two hits, Dragonstone makes more sense to use. Dual guards give XP. Unfortunately, Elitist Speedrunner coming in here. I'm gonna do this. Dragonstone. I don't think Felicia can kill from this range, even with the corn dual strike. 
Okay, now we have Guard Gauge. Oh shit, Felicia, please be okay. Uh, he's gonna be there in two turns, isn't he? I think two turns is our deadline here, so we have to push past it. Please kill. Oh my god. Okay, actually, after the debuff, he will die. So it's worth it. Like, sure, Felicia will get damaged, but I don't think she dies. Not even if that other guy gets a dual strike. Actually, oh, she's in range of both. We're so screwed. I mean, this guy will die, so we can kill him now. We should have hit this guy then. Doesn't matter. Uh, I don't think it matters which we use. I guess we damage the other guy more. I can give Felicia away this turn. And that will let Korn dual strike the next guy. And we get the debuff, and then Felicia can kill afterwards? Question mark. Uh, Yato. Yato doesn't double. We should use Dragonstone. Alright, let's try this. I don't think this will keep Felicia, like, safe safe. But hey. Hey, it's something. There was an attempt. These are more kills from Mozu. Alright, okay. Alright, we're cooking. I don't think Felicia has guard gauge, though, if we attack. And the guy's still reaching Mozu, though. Can we even get Mozu at this rate? Um, cringe game? Okay, we do have guard gauge. Uh, so if we give Effie back to Korn and we get a dual strike, we can kill that guy. And then we only need to face us to miss once. Never punish. What do you mean? Calculate it. Korn water walk? Uh, I mean, I can, I can walk on water, yes, but not in one turn. I think the best this gets is this. We, we attack here after this. In an iron dagger like this. Wait, I think she's dead actually. Do this. Yeah, she actually dies. Never mind. Forgot she wouldn't have a partner. She has to dodge. Yeah, I lose the gauge. It's lunatic. Live the surf. More like lift the nerf. So now we do this, and then we're one turn away from Mozu. What up, JVG? Mozu! Don't tell me I have to like use other units to get Mozu. I honestly wouldn't be against it. Just don't tell Modi. Or Grant. Um, yeah, I can do it with Azura, of course. Normally you do that. I just thought it would be good to have Mozu, like, active before Chapter 8. Especially because, like, if I can't beat this chapter, what am I supposed to do in Chapter freaking 8 <laughs> with this team? You guys want to see how that is? Maybe even worse. Alright, Mozu just dodges the 88. Easy. Goodbye. Recruit Anna. Yo, now we're talking. I don't think I have the DLC installed, though. Uh, I like that idea, Septi. Let's try that next, because clearly we do need we do want Mozu. I've never used Mozu before, like this early year. Uh, let me try the soft reset. R, I'll start select. Ah, that's not so slow. Okay, we can do that instead. Caterpillar with Felicia. What's a caterpillar? Is that a new trembling measure? Okay, which guy is it? I think it's the upper left guy, right? It's one of those guys. Soft reset mid combat. That is hilarious. Okay, the left is less choke point friendly. Oh, seven spaces per turn. Yeah, but that also involves Felicia moving seven spaces per turn. She's not very good at fighting. She is close to li like uh, lift the serve. Uh, I guess I can have uh, Corn and Effie do some shenanigans with dropping and have Felicia at a distance. That's the best I can do, I think. Yeah, Marcus, the problem is, what the hell do I do in Chapter 8 with this team? <laughs> like, do you know how many things I have to fight without Odin and Niles? Uh, water walking? Well, the thing is, the, the river is two tiles wide. So, generally, it, it, it seems to take me, like, one turn to kill a faceless that's here anyway. So, I don't think that speeds me up by enough. We're already one turn short. Let's try this strategy first. And go here. And go here. Uh, I'm not sure who should go in front, but that's something we just experiment with, right? We we sure got screwed over by our opponents here, chat. I think... Okay, let me check this guy's movement. So one, two, three, four, five. He reaches around me anyway. So I don't know if Felicia can do a whole lot yet. I'm making time going that way. Oh, I thought you, that's what you said, though, Septi. Like, you literally said, go to, oh, go to the anti-turtling guy. 
I mean, I don't know where to meet him. I guess down could be a way. Control left. You mean like here? Oh, I see what you're saying. I actually like that better too. Okay. Let's reset. Trust me. I'm resetting. There we go. Alright, down then left. Alright, that's good. Get to kill a couple guys that way too. Go here. Uh, no, not pair up here. Is this the forest? No, this is not forest. It, it looks like it is, but it ain't. I still do not think it's the play to have Leash exposed turn one. Chapter three on. I beat the the Silas Elise chapter. That's it. That's all I did. Trust me. Okay, are we still gaming with the Yato? Here we are. We did defense Sonic, right? Yeah, we did. I feel like it doesn't really matter that much if I use Dragonstone or Yato. Okay, so we're going here. I think we should separate first. I, like, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to separate here. Because I'd rather build some guard gauge. Do some work. If he, I think Korn not taking damage is better. Just turtle here. I feel like it's super optimal if Felicia somehow gets to kill an enemy by herself. But she's so braille that it doesn't help. Separating does give more tiles. Yes. But also... Separating takes... Ugh. This is really cringe for Felicia. She basically can't join them. Okay, actually I changed my mind. I think I have to separate to have the actions to take these down. Or what if we just go right? Like this, for now. Maybe separate for, like, mobility now. Like, just put Effie up ahead. And just have Felicia, like, hide for a bit. And they should both go, still go for corn. Yeah. This one goes there, dies. Everyone's happy. They do that again. They get weakened. And then Felicia follows later, maybe? Yeah, unfortunately, Felicia has problems of her own right now. But we can work out the kinks later. I think this is the guy. This is our guy, right? He thinks he's that guy. Uh, let's have Corrin go in front this time. Yeah, Felicia is going to have to heal Corrin later. Okay. With their combined might, they take out the enemies. Okay, now we can just turtle, right? This is the guy, right? I don't actually know if he's aggressive towards me too. Yay, yeah, 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 they could level up again. Okay. Felicia, you cannot one v one this guy, but you're probably going to have to run away from him. Now, so you can unite with the rest. You don't die in one hit, you'll just have to debuff him a little bit. Okay, we can chill now. We just approach Mozu from wherever is fewer guys. Looks like from the right is easier. Um, well, let's work on our things. Okay, I'm just gonna attack from here. Later, Aiza. See you around. Riverwalk. Oh, Riverwalk. Finally, the Riverwalk. Chat's favorite. Yeah, okay. You better run, Felicia. You better run. You're gonna be okay. She's gonna be okay. Uh, let's heal... Horn. Get some more dual strike goodness. Dragonstone's good. Heal. Yep, Mozu farm time. We could probably Mozu farm this guy too, but... I'm shy about it. Yay, dagger farm. Oh, what? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Need the Mozu. Alright. How about Effie does this one and you guys go across the river? Uh, Korra needs to be next to the river. Um, Effie's gonna kill that guy 100% of the time. Heal Effie. Korra goes next to the river. This is fine, right? Yeah, this is fine. Deadpool 3? I had no idea it's, it exists. <laughs> or it's, it's about to exist. Care from drop on a river? It's too late. We already made the wrong move. Oh my god. Where did you come from? What are you doing? What are you doing? He became that guy. He became that guy. My man became that guy. No. Uh, can I, I can't separate, but at least he's low on health. This is the cringiest of cringe. The rare 
second anti-turtle trigger. Mozo! How did we do that? Can we stop it? One guy, Gene, was transferred over. Okay, I guess we just need more tiles. <laughs> we just need more tiles. Let's try to have Felicia keep up. Because it would really help if we were... Well, would it help? I don't think it really helps. It just turns. This is just more tiles. Well, let's just do as many tiles as we can. Well, maybe besides Felicia, of course. But, like, Felicia can maybe stealth through this, so maybe I should involve Felicia more. Let's try involving Felicia as much as we can already. Like, just get there as soon as possible. Reset already, come on. Fully walked on, unpaired turn one. Felicia can get the kill turn two. Let's find out. Yeah, Felicia, Felicia does double, even with Effie, right? 12. Oh, Felicia doesn't even double. She has the most tiles, but she also... The thing with Felicia is she stops moving the most tiles when she has to hide. Oh, it has to be Corrin who goes in, right? So... I think we move Felicia ahead the most. Like, this is just the highest move unit in front always. Go Burr, Strat. Oh, oh! <laughs> Sometimes it's just too easy. Alright. Just do the same trick again. I mean, we got really lucky on this one. I feel like this is the seat where we have to do it. It's either die or do or die here. I think we have to get next to the river as fast as possible. Which probably means here. And then just separate into the river. It feels really unfair to Felicia just kind of dodge one attack, but here we are. Uh, we need to look at Dragonstone. What was I doing with the Yato equipped? That might have wasted the seed, honestly. Okay, unpair. They earn, exactly. They're gonna go- this one is gonna go for Felicia anyway. This one might go for Effie. In fact, he will go for Effie. He has no choice in the matter. Okay, good job, alright. Worked. I don't think Effie can reach that, can she? Average Donna strategy. No, Donna would be bigger brained about it. Okay, we're getting blocked anyway. Chat, where are your smarts now? <laughs> this is dodging from the beginning. I'm glad you're here, Mr. Easter Band. Well, we can hide Felicia for now and just have Corn attack, but uh, he's almost here again. Uh, can we? No. It's my secret. I never had smarts. Uh, I don't think Effie's okay. She takes two more hits. If they're smart, they'll gang up on her. Maybe we Yato with Corn so that Corn has less defense and they won't go for Effie. I didn't keep track of their movement order. Corn will have, I think, effectively 14 defense. Oh, Effie too. So he'll still go for Effie. That's not him. Oh, okay. In that case, we should just worry about Effie's safety then. I have vulnerabilities, but they're in a convoy. I didn't think Effie would be out alone for so long. Uh, Effie can move cooldown and be out of range of most enemies for a turn. I think we keep her out of range from her this one. I would have to defense tonic Effie. I think this is a forced move as well. Uh, Effie with a strength tonic. Yeah, honestly, that should turn a two shot into a two shot. Yeah, I like that too. Should do that. I was thinking I wouldn't have to, because... You know what I mean? Um, it's Effie. But here we are. Uh, we get attacked here, right? Oh, Effie gets attacked. I think Effie's screwed next turn, to be honest. Um... Well, we can attack with the auto and try, I guess. We can't unpair with Felicia, so this is it. This is basically all we have to do. I guess that guy is dying. The left guy. Oh, yeah, that's annoying, too. RNG was against me, chat. RNG was against me. Nice and relaxing map. No screwage at all. Let me reset, game. I'll start select. There we go. I think the order matters. Okay, we got... Uh, I will strength on get the... I've decided. Did I buy it? I don't think I bought it. Which means we probably cannot strength tonic corn. For Mozu feeding, but we'll find a way with Felicia. I'm sure there's a configuration that will let it happen. Uh, it's probably like Corn, uh, Felicia dual strike. To set it up Please, one by one. Take your time. Uh, Effie. 
Strength tonic. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to sell, though. Like, what am I supposed to sell? I guess my axes? But I kind of want those for later. Like, <laughs> I have um, Baruka to give axes to. She does... I mean... I, I think I'm not going to get a whole lot of gold from the next chapter either. So that's what I'm worried about. Okay. Didn't expect that, did you? Okay. All right. Rika Castle Talk with for a huge charge of strength. <laughs> yeah, Akrit and I doubt those are rigged. Cheat it. Barbarically insert it. I wonder if we needed all those tiles, but we kind of got to where we needed to be exactly, right? Sell the units? Yo, you gotta love it. Yeah, Mozu Archer is the plan. Maybe I should have the Vuln on Effie, but I feel like the Vuln... Oh, well, Korn probably doesn't need the Vuln, so maybe we the Vuln on Effie. Let's try that. Felicia doesn't heal herself to f enough with a Vuln to get there anyway. Okay. Alright, let's crit this time too. Uh, switch. Dragonstone. And separate. And Effie. I have a good feeling about this strategy. Just need to get really lucky. But can we even do it without getting lucky? Because now... This guy's just going to kill Alicia now when I try it, right? 1,000 gold minimum for visiting at least the easy house. Yeah, but that's 1,000. That's not a whole lot, is it? It's like a couple tonics. Maybe a weapon. Uh, I think I don't think it was, it was this turn, was it? Or we got there? Well, Felicia gets there this turn. It's the problem is, like, she dies. If we had, like, one more early game unit, like, just one more, Effie could have been here. Yeah, I guess. What up, uh, cat? I suppose... I suppose that still works. Effie will miss, though. Ah, uh, no. Haha. <laughs> Reverse psychology every time. All right, get the good level up. Lunatic. You know what? I should definitely put that in the description. Or in the title, even. People ask it a lot. It seems like a good thing to put in the title. All right, let's, the difficulty is now known. Go here. Yeah, I, I just need the dopamine from the FE level. You got me. Okay, so now we pair off and drop on the beach. This is pretty good. I kind of like this idea. Um, wait, are we good? I mean, we need to hand off. Wait, so Felicia is in position, but she needs to drop corn. Oh, we can go a little bit to the left, right? It's like this is still doable. Yeah. Let me look at the minimap for a second. Yeah, this is all plain, so once we drop corn here, we just fight one guy. But that guy will, once we fight him, we'll be in range of Mozu. I think. I didn't need to see you to get level up. Okay, so... It doesn't really matter where Effie goes, but you gotta transfer the corn. And then we just gotta be out of range. And I guess we just wanna be as close to Mozu as possible. I don't think it... I think this is just something we cannot really plan for. Separate... This will be in range for Corrin. But we'll get a dual strike. So Felicia will be able to kill afterwards. Corrin has a dragon stone. Okay. Separate here. I don't remember if Felicia can get a kill after a debuff like this. We'll find out, I guess. Debuff. Uh, unfortunately, that face does is going to stop Felicia from doing this. Damn, Live to Surf would have been so helpful couple times already, because now we have to go here, but I think this guy was the guy that's supposed to go after Mozu, but now he's going for Effie because he thinks he can murder her. Uh, we live with one, right? Yeah. And we have a Vuln, so we should probably use it first. Check this. Okay, this is a kill if we were able to do it. I think it's just move around. Uh, just attack, I guess. Just attack. Prepare Felicia. Preparing Felicia seems helpful. Sure. This first. Prepare Felicia to get her out of danger. And then just fall in with Effie. 
Did we get this guy too? Oh, he's gonna go after Corn. That's probably good for Effie. Uh, in fact, let me make sure I can help with that next turn. Not sure what the best position was for her there. We'll see. Okay. Nice dodge. And nothing moved. So now we can go fetch Mozu. You can get this one out of here. Good job, Buffy. And these guys are all level 6, so that's going to be juicy. The God Seed. No, we just did everything perfectly. With absolutely no help from Septi whatsoever in chat. Separate. Village girl acquired. Target acquired. Oh god. They're moving. Oh, turn 5 is when they start to move in. Okay, so how much damage does she do? Negative. <laughs> we need Effie pair up to do damage at all. Or or dual strikes. Alright, get the Mozu. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm here to help. Poor Mozu died like six times before we got here. Okay, but Archer might have different stats. They don't know. Dragonstone. Uh, I kind of want to heal Effie, but I can't. Hopefully Effie's not screwed. What's for lunch? I already ate dinner. I don't know what's for lunch. Uh, we want Effie for Mozu. I guess we just take this turn to reclass her and then go from there. Alright, let's just reclass her now. I don't think there's any point in staying in Villager. Let's see your stats in Archer. <laughs> her legs are shaking. I forgot about that part. It's adorable. Uh, looks like we don't get any strength. And the bow is... Stronger than the Brass Magnata, so that's something. Alright, Mozu, you're gonna do damage. It's not a trainee. It's a special class. I really should put... I was gonna put Mozu on the thumbnail. But her cipher art, it has the sample thing, like, all over her, uh, like, chest. And I didn't want it on there, so it would have been just her face. Yay! Okay, I don't think we've bait anything yet. Let me see what we get next here. Uh, I want to heal Effie. I guess we can, like, go here and separate corn into the river. I don't know what we're doing here. Let's just go near the river for now. Let's see what happens. Two guys moving. Okay, I think they're all move triggers. If there's more triggers, that is. I don't know if there's like gonna be a safe place for all these characters. We have like two people to protect with only one corn and one Effie. And corn is the one who can get people across the river. Uh, I think they take like no train bonuses either, or no train penalties. I don't think Mozu can water walk either. Let's just throw corn out for a second. How much damage do you do? One plus seven. Okay, that's we can kill something with that eventually. Oh, I, I thought I looked on the bat wiki. I'll have to check that out. I kind of want to get back across the river, but I don't think it's reasonable to get three characters across the river in time for these two. I could try to get Corn on River Tile now, yes. And if I do so, I can pair Effie into him and get them all here. Which might be faster than trying to get back across the river where there's more space. I wonder what's better here. I'm gonna make a Pekka turn wheel here because I don't feel like replaying the start of this infinitely. You guys have seen that for the past 45 minutes. Thank right guy. I don't want to make right guy move. I feel like having left having left guys move makes it hard enough. We have cipher card is the most expensive card online. Uh let's Yo, what up Gary Sherman? Thanks for the two dollars super chat. Hope your levels up are good. I mean, the one we got on, on the Effie right now was sickeningly good. I'm, I'm assuming this tile stays safe. But let me just check that instead. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's a, it's a safe tile. I don't know what it means for Mozu, though. Where does Mozu go after that? Because nothing is safe then. Corn's on the safe tile. Someone can parent to him and Effie can take the drop. Another parent into him. Corn walks across. Well, yeah, but that's next turn. Archer, I mean, not right now. Maybe it can. Next turn. 
I'm just trying to... The, the dilemma right now is that if I put corn on the river this turn through, like, parent of Felicia, Felicia goes here, take drop. The problem with that is that I have to put Mozu somewhere. And I don't think there's a safe style for Mozu if Felicia is here. What if pair corn into Felicia? Separate corn onto river? Pair Mozu into Felicia on the safe tile? Oh yeah, that's true. Felicia would be safe to pair. Also, I just realized something about this stream, and it's probably in the Four Kings playlist right now. Yeah, that should not be the case. Uh, Conquest. Soyo. Nice! Nice! Yeah, I already read that one. Thank you so much. Hold up. Before I forget. There we go. This is no longer in the Four Kings playlist. Great. Yeah, the, the other problem with that is that there will be two fill, fill characters uh, sitting here on a safe tile for this turn, but next turn it won't be a safe tile. We can deal with that when the time comes, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do the corn on the thing for now. Separate. It is very tempting, though, for me to just pair Effie into corn so that they're all here instead of this abomination of a formation. They need to transfer Mozu from Felicia to Corrin. After that, transfer with Effie from Felicia. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That might work. Maybe like this, right? Uh, transfer. Yeah, that will work still. It would also maximize feeding potential. So like it's like this. This. Gosh, I love pair-up, but damn, sometimes the, the brain... The strats are too big brain for me. Uh, pair-up. There we go. Okay, that was good. That was good. Acquire a Mozu package. Okay, now we can, like, shoot these guys across the river. That's gaming. I just, um... Oof. I think I think she does damage still. It's 12. Not on the forest. I think I calculated... I think it was 1 plus 7, so I think we're good here. Uh, but we do want to build support with Effie, so we should do that instead if we can. Although we probably should also should get a sea support with Corrin. Like, both are fine. We'll get both anyway. This this is fine. This is good. Alright, Mozu Farm begins, guys. Mozu Farm begins. I still don't get how this is not a forest, but I get it. Give her the Oh, genius. It's not like Mozu can use it anyway. Uh, I think we might need the power to kill, though. Uh, right? What's the difference? This is 4. This thing is 7. Uh, 25 attack. So it wouldn't let, have any rounding losses. I mean, we could just give it to her and see, right? We could trade if it doesn't work. We know that Iron Lance is enough. Uh, yeah, it still works. Okay, good. I think it's like four rounds of combat for C support. Or for a support point. I think. I believe. Okay, let's get the other guys now. Ozu farm begins. Let's just start with the right side. We'll do the boss last. I think that maximizes our XP gain. Got a PS5. And uh, how many livers did you have to sell for that? I actually don't know how expensive a PS5 is. Wasn't that the one that was really rare? Just hard to get because no one, no one was selling them. Three points for XC support. Yeah. Yeah, Mozu Effie, I don't know. Is there fast support pairs in this game? I thought it was all equal, but I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, if we get the upper guy, it doesn't matter. I kinda wanna get Effie to the 10, but I don't think her skill matters a whole lot. Maybe if, I think XP on Felicia is actually more important. Uh, so maybe we start with Felicia, Corrin. It's already a B, we might as well try and get the A. We also should probably do some healing. Not a whole lot, but like enough. We get left to serve. Uh, I don't know if we want to do this, I guess. Might, might as well. Support points. We'll probably just max out all support points anyway. Gaming. Alright, get some corn points. There are fast supports, but not for Mozu. Rip Mozu. I thought these enemies were level 1. Oh, damn! Let's go, Mozu! Let's go, Zu. Skill plus 2. Never misses anymore. Um, okay, looks like they don't overlap. Just chill. Get some Effie Mozu combat in. 
I mean, if we just put them all together, like, they'll always be fine support points-wise anyway. Make a little triangle. Oh, no, dual strike. Anyway. Yeah, we should probably try to dual strike with Mozu when we can. 20s. Yeah! I I think I've only ever done this Mozu farming on Birthright. Legit. Yeah, Mozu Gaming, Mozu Gaming. We farming, boys. Oh, it's not enough, is it? Ah, uh, we can give it to Felicia, that's fine. Alternatively, we can make him enemy phase and do it again. <laughs> Effie, why are you taking so much damage, girl? Jeez. Alright, next. Probably do more Dragonstone Corn to save heal uses. I actually cannot afford a new heal, so maybe I shouldn't use the heal too much. I will literally run out next chapter if I don't get another one. Like, I know I'll get some gold, but damn. Maybe there's some stuff I can sell, but it's not much. I have full, I've, Thankfully, I have Moses' Fulnery as well. Uh, let's do Moses again. Mod Compass and Citra. I know there's a lot of people who know that. There's a lot of. What up, Molds? How's it going? Exact damage. Yeah, Mozu! See, this is why we do this paralogue first, so we can get those gains. Uh, I do need Lift to Serve before next chapter, I'm pretty sure. And get a couple more heals in. I mean, HP is not a stat in Fates. We all know it's a static stat. I mean, HP would be nice at some point, but we don't need it right away, right? Like, it's, it's, the only point by HP that matters is the last one. Got Mozus. Don't make a mistake now. Don't make a mistake. Uh, can I drop here? Yeah, okay. Is Effie okay? Did I do the thing? Yeah, Effie's healed, okay. Effie. Up front. Separate. And let's do Iron Lance for this. Separates. Looks like she's fine. We good. We good. Yeah, Forager. Yeah, Forager Gaming. I honestly don't even know how good Anna is in Fates. I'm assuming not very, because no one ever talks about her. Bozu. We also get to see Bo Effie. It'll just be later. I actually didn't count how many heart seals I need for my builds. I'm gonna have to reclass corn at some point. But that might have to be a chapter 20 some point. Oh! More strength. Apothecary. Oh, nice. Natural cover. Okay. I mean, I just, I'm just getting out of the woods. But you know what? We'll take those. Apothecary. Couple more heals, probably. I think you gain HP from the lift to serve the, that you heal with, if you know what I mean. Uh, Effie. Effie's level 10. We should probably get Corn to 10 so we can get Dragon Fang procs next chapter. Let's do this. Separates. There's no way I'm not getting max support points from all this, right? No way. Alright, they're getting C support. Everybody getting that C support. Dodge tank Effie. I mean, our, I've, I've used Sniper Effie before, but it kind of ditched the playthrough that I did it in. Mm, that's just end turns. We can move them all at once. Yeah, the boss doesn't move, which makes him great for farming. Fates does have a cap on how much you can farm an individual enemy. Like, it just stops giving you weapon XP and experience period, I think, after five combats. But you can kind of circumvent it with dual strikes, I think. Okay, let's be careful here. Don't throw. Don't throw. Okay, what's going on here? You don't move, so it's just you two. Oh, there's more guys here too. Hold up. It's Route though, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, both of them will probably move at the same time to try and get combat in. Uh, Korn... I forgot how much damage Korn takes from these. I want to say it's enough for where I'm, like, I'm going to heal. There you go. I think Felicia alone is enough to make him do less damage. Let's see who you... I think you'll end up doing something with Felicia anyway, but I'll just put most of your first support points. That's fine. Oh, the other guy didn't move. That's great. Alright, go get him. Yeah, Mozu! Hollow Knight? Yeah, the game is on my desktop. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I think when I'm done moving, I'll set it up. Maybe play Hollow Knight on Wednesdays. I need to see if my internet is sufficient to play it. That's why this stream is, like, great, because this is from my old place. I need to check how the internet is in my new place once I get there. If it's not good enough, I can make it better. But I don't know yet whether I have to make it better. Almost there. 2 HP? Yeah, sounds about right. Fortunately, no foraging here. What I want is bow rank. Because I think that gives her more hit. Hit is good. It does right. Her damage output, I gotta say her damage output on dual strikes is like abysmal on these guys. But they are 11 defense enemies, so... I'm not gonna be too harsh on her. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna do one more with Effie. Here. I gotta say, Chats already had some good ideas today. I'm not just saying, not just, not just Septi, Xander. Just generally, just you know, we're good, good teamwork, Chat. Good teamwork. All right, one more for the road. This one might at C. Plus I hit a B. This one might at A for bows. Could be. Damn. How much strength did she get? I feel like she got like four levels of strength at the very least, if not five. All right, time for the biggest farm fest of them all, the boss. Uh, let's make sure we get Lift to Serve. I think Felicia has definitely got max points with Corrin. Okay, we need like three more heals. Diminishing returns are real in this heal staff uses. That should be good enough. I don't know if we can get by with five uses, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, Mozu time. Wait, Mozu probably doesn't do damage to the boss, does she? No. Um, if you pair up, she probably does. Let's try that. Yeah! Do you gain support points from... If you don't gain weapon XP anymore, do you get support points? I don't remember. You probably just debuff him, right? There you go. Oh, I probably could have just done uh, chip damage with Felicia instead of wasting our heal staff. Nice level up, girl. Nice level up. I'm, I'm very proud of you. I'm like Tommy Tallarico. I'm very proud. Actually, my mother's very proud. Yeah, there is a cap. I think it's five per enemy for uh, five combats per enemy that you gain weapon XP from. I mean, now we might as well farm with Felicia too. Moses is already broken. She doesn't need more level ups. Corn level up, yay. I don't think it's per per map. Yo! Corn gaming. Oh, Nalsa's Iron Bow? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, her res is kind of crap, though, so we can't do the same things as Niles can, unfortunately. Honestly, why are we why are we why are we doing this? Why are we Oh, we're paired up so that we can yeah, I remember now. But we should do this now. This is way better. Two for both. Are they capped yet? Oh, they're capped, yeah. <laughs> they're capped XP-wise. Uh, do we give it to Felicia so that she's close to level 15 and can do more funny things? I feel like the boss XP is a little wasted on Mozu. But also it's Mozu. Oh wait, she's capped, right? She can't get more XP. Unless you kill? Is it is the cap just on non-lethal combat? You can also just give it to Corrin. Or we can dual strike with her. 
if he missed. Oh. Just kind of, okay, good. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, uh, goodbye, boss. Wait. Effie. There you go. That's why. All right. We got him. Bozu accomplished. Oh. <laughs> I think we could do stuff with this next chapter. 42 turns. The most ethical of turn counts. All right. See, these these backgrounds, I think, in Fates are, like, beautiful. Like, this is some great art that I think doesn't get enough appreciation. I don't like the 3D models, but those backgrounds are perfect. Approaching reasonable. No, she's she's perfect the way she is. All right, so we only got... We didn't get Mozu Corrin. Or Effie Corrin. Wait, actually, I think we already have Kevin. No, we don't have Effie Corrin. Damn. Rip Reno. I guess she supported Arthur or something. Yeah, she did. Shucks. Okay, so I don't think we have the gold to get anything. Let me see if we can sell anything. Where have you been? But I don't think there is anything. I mean... I could sell the hand axe or something, but I don't think that's the right play. Oh, we could sell the goddess icon. That might be worth. Yo, Weedle Twinito, what's up? How's it going? I think this is worth selling then. I need. I want tonics for next chapter. For sure. So that's a sword. Uh, I guess we do get other swords for later if we ever want to use swords with, say, Leo or something. So that's reasonable. I think the goddess icon was fine to sell, though. Let me see what we need in the chapter, what we can, what can cook there. Well, um... Conquest preps are difficult. So we might as well just see what we're working with first. Luck, yeah, plus four luck would have been nice, but eh. We'll get another one. I can't sell the umbrella. Um, but if you don't know what umbrella is, it's a one to range sword that I'm not using. 3k on conquest. I do think you get more gold in conquest in general, though. Uh, you are benched. So this we can get on turn one with whoever, and then they pair up into stuff. I am stuff. Uh, the question is, can Mozu, like, double, say, the mages? Looks like the answer is yes, because they only have five speed. But they do probably two-shot her. Maybe with uh, Felicia pair? Felicia gives a lot of res. I think. She doesn't give a lot of speed. That we don't need. <laughs> uh, Mozu probably won't be as effective as Niles, but she'll still work, right? Felicia's heal. Uh, true. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. I probably should be using that last chapter. Freeze as well. I might have to use a freeze staff, use this chapter. I remember Sweet Magic Luck Rip. Um, I remember these groups being really difficult in Flora. Mm hmm. Right, right. We can do a little bit of pair up drop shenanigan in here. But I think that's usually to push Odin and Niles to the left, and I don't think that's necessary here. I think we can get two villages at the very least if we push a little bit hard. It'll be difficult though, not gonna lie. Let's see if Korn can hit some benchmarks against the upper fighters with the right pair up. I think Felicia gave her f gave up four speed. Okay, we these enemies are like slow as hell. What the heck? <laughs> not the caterpillar expression. Uh, we could try that, I guess. I mean, it's not. Like, the problem is the same as last chapter, except now the enemies are stronger. We can try. I guess we can have Effie visit the house and then Mozu hang out here. I wonder if Mozu can one round with Niles' Iron Bow against those mages. She did, she did get strength at every level up, but she has the speed to double. 17. Minus 5 is 12. Weapon triangle is minus 1, I want to say. I think she's there. You can always go Effie pair up for extra speed or extra strength. What are Niles and Odin allowed to do anything? Uh, regularly, they're just not allowed to do anything, but... I think the rule that we agreed on was like, if it if you have to, then you can. But I'm going to try to avoid it. If Felicia gets tinked with Corn pair up, unless she unequips res plus two. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, wait, can Felicia kill these? She gets plus one from Weapon Triangle, right? So... Let's see, she does have 13 res. Uh, yeah, it depends on how much res Corn gives, I guess. Uh, is this reduced damage taken? After war? Yeah, it does. Okay, so yeah, we do get tanked unless we unequip that. We can unequip it, though. It's not going to be great, but 
Like, what Septi's saying is, uh, enemies don't attack you if they don't do damage. But now they will attack me. Yeah, actually, I think that's probably better than whatever I'm planning with Mozu. Just what made me phase him down with Felicia. Uh, Quorum probably gives, like, one point of strength. Ten. Actually, I don't know if she does enough damage to kill. Maybe with the strength tonic? Uh, it's plus two damage dealt, right? Yeah, plus two damage dealt, plus weapon triangles is plus three, it's thirteen. Uh, it's still short. Uh, I think everyone's going west. I don't think there's any point in splitting the party. This guy's gonna visit turn one. And then all we can do is like go here, maybe. Plus four, okay, maybe, should, but it's probably easier to just try and find out. Let's screw around a bit and see where like a tonic might make a difference instead of figuring this all out in theory. I'll visit with Effie for now. All right, three out of five is max reward for the villages. Okay, so Effie grabs this one. And Corrin goes with Felicia. This doesn't mean that I can't really Dragon Thing. Turn one or anything. But I think that's okay. I don't think we need the Dragon Thing. I don't remember how the enemies move here anyway. So let's do this. Caterpillar over here. And then have Mozu ready to receive Effie. One, two, three, four. He does that. I don't think those move right away. I forgot. Yo, what up, boys? Darkness whispers. The darkness whispers. <sighs> it's Odin Dank. This is going to be my only phase playthrough ever where I don't use Odin. I'm sorry, chat. Okay, what are we doing here? Five times two. We add corn to the mix. Okay, we're not killing. That's okay, we don't have to kill. Uh, we don't want to fight those yet. And we don't want to get frozen. So I think we just go here. And we could drop Corrin, but it's probably better to just enemy phase them all first. Oh yeah, Strength Tonic and kills, yeah. And then from there, we go through Flora's range. I think we can like avoid Flora's range entirely. No, we can't because it goes all the way down here. We might have to fight Flora first. Then we have to deal with those. Maybe drop Corn behind Felicia next turn, and then Yato a couple. How fast is Corn without Felicia? Eleven. So speed tonic means we can double and attack stance, kill them all. Maybe they hit really hard though. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm, I do want to do the strength tonic now and figure that out from here because that might be all we need. <laughs> it might be literally all we need to get through the chapter. How does Felicia do against um, Flora here? We double because she's slow as hell. It's 12. 4 times 2 is not very good. Uh, does Flora Paradise attacking or freezing after war? I'm assuming that Dragonstoning her is not very good. Who is good against her? Niles, I guess. Oh, Mozu. Mozu is really good against her. Mozu with a speed tonic or some kind of pair up. Do some massive damage here. We can give her Niles' Iron Bow. First attack? Okay, good to know. So, Mozu... I'm also not allowed to, like, pair up with Niles and stuff like that. 12 speed... Oh, we do need... To, yeah, we need to speed pair up. Or speed tonic for 14 speed. Or Quorum pair up would work, I think. So then we can stand here, take the hits of 20 damage, and then hit her back with the bow twice for... See, 8 defense, 19 attack. It's not a one round, but it's a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, he can give away his weapons. That's fine. He can give away his weapons. Uh, what if we gave you this and a speed tonic? Oh, this is 22. I think we can get a one round kill on Flora with Mozu. She's just that good. Uh, 22. Plus. One or two from Weapon Triangle? Plus one. Uh, 22, 23. I think we're there. Yeah, I think we can one round kill Flora with Mozu. Weapon Triangle? Oh shit. Well, maybe we have to Strength Tonic then. I mean, aren't we there anyway? 22. 22 minus 8 is 14. I think we're there anyway. I don't think Flora has any damage debuffing skills. So, yeah. Was it good after 42 turns? I mean, yeah. 
but those are my 42 turns to spend. Mozu has advantage, but she doesn't get a bonus from it, apparently. That's fine. Her hit is also, like, pretty good. 104 hit. I guess her avoid... Yeah, she's, like, near perfect hit as well. So we can one-run kill Flora with Mozu. After we take her to Maze with Felicia, and then maybe Corrin can fight the fighters. Okay, we have a basic plan going. Let's, uh... Let's get some tonics. I think we just need strength tonic on Felicia, and that's it. Oh, we need to make sure Mozu doubles, I guess. So maybe a speed tonic for Mozu. Ironically. I wonder if that's better than a strength tonic and then a speed pair up. I think we only barely get the two shot with um, Effie. Uh, Citra? Are you okay? Do you need help? There you go. Yeah, exactly. If it's if it's 41 turns, don't. We need 40, 40 something. I think selling the sword is smart though, but I think right now we're gonna stick with the sold goddess icon. Where have you been? Elise, you're on the bench. Shush. It's okay. So we need two strength tonics. No, we need strength tonic and speed tonic. Come back soon! Come back soon! Yes! Okay. It's also like my first time using Felicia like this. I've always felt like Felicia was significantly worse than Jacob, and just harder to use because of how frail she is. Strength. Speed. Now we have 14. Go there, go there. Back up save. Ike is better than Titania. What up, Dak? I find that take questionable. But I will say Archer's pretty good, though. I changed my mind. This archer is really good. I won't kill this one. He only died because she wasn't an archer yet. That was her whole problem. Wait, is she in the wrong spot? Yeah, she's in the wrong spot, I think. Yeah, we need a... Um... Can we fix this? We can pro I think this is still fine. We just do this for now. We'll probably fail some in some way anyway. Ike is Punish Incarnate. Yes, for sure. Uh, we need to go... I think in the forest is the what we want to do. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Okay. Better for support. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think mean, I feel like Jacob can do most of the same things support wise. But then again, Jacob's not like a tank either, so I don't know. Okay. So we have the strength tonic now, so we can do like this. Go in here. Weren't we further to the left earlier? Or am I seeing things? Maybe I am seeing things. Uh I wouldn't have now just gotta be out of range. I guess like this. And then this. Um, just pair them, I guess. Go here. Trade. Give the bow to Bozu. Uh, transfer this make sense? No, right. Uh, doesn't make any sense. You can't even do that. That's not allowed. That's illegal. Uh, Caterpillar. You could have put Bozu in range of one of the mages, I guess. Okay. Do that. Get some nice juicy Felicia levels. Oh, we could have just gotten Lift to serve here. We didn't need to spam heal at all. Okay, get a free guard gauge heal out of that. Alright. Oh. Yeah, it should be okay. We just have to be in range of uh, Flora. Or rather, it doesn't matter. We, we want to go near Flora. This is kind of tight though. I mean, we might not make it to that one, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, he's going. He's going to be here. Three. Uh, how many villagers are we getting? I want to get three. You have to freeze this turn. Uh, Lyman, all my vods are automatically stored in the live tab. If you go to my channel and click live, you see all my live streams. If you go to playlists, you see more organized pet playlists, which might be more convenient. I mean, I can freeze him at some point, probably. What's my freeze range? It's like 8. Yeah, I can freeze him next turn if I really want to. Uh, we can... We probably don't want to do that. No. I was going to drop Felicia here, but I don't think that makes any sense. Uh, what I want to try to do is have Corrin fight those guys. Because Felicia is not good at it. They have 23 attack, right? 23... Oh, 23 and 19. And Corrin... 
has not enough bulk to tweak 23 and 19, right? No, I think he does. Uh, 23 is going to be 13, and 19 is going to be 9. That's like 22. So he'll be okay. Want to see him non mecha content? I have no idea where he'd get non mecha content. Old man does YouTube. Welcome, old man. I'm also old man. I have realized. Um, I'm trying to think if I want a Yato or Dragonstone. Dragonstone preserves some damage, I think, but I also get a guard gauge out of it. Because if I do 15 damage defense instead, I don't take that much less damage. Like, this is plus 4. But this gives me, like, a reasonable chance to dodge, maybe. And I get more attacks into more damage, more chances to kill with others. Wait, they're not aggressive? I thought I saw a move earlier. You're saying I just do this. I just go here. Just like, Lamao, keep going. That is interesting. That's kind of broken too. Alright, let's do that instead. <laughs> That's hella cheese, honestly. Uh, speaking of hella cheese... Well, I think this guy was being aggressive. So I'm not going to fight him yet. But let's keep going this way then. And... Separate Effie below me. And I'm going to keep these guys with me, because if I isolate them, they might get trapped and I'll be unable to move from there. So we're just going to keep themselves safe. Yeah, right, the exit. Corrin gets frozen because Felicia has way more staff avoid. Okay, so we actually never care about freeze then. <laughs> That's insanely easy. Uh, do we freeze this guy? That we get three villages? The max is three, right? So, and up uh, soldier... Oh, wait. So I was going for that one, right? I think that's stoppable, but not with this low group of units. I think we freeze that guy. What's the hit rate? Freeze. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, I do gotta separate. Oh, that's right. I'm only one short. Well, I'm one short of attacking him. But I can't one run him, can I? 12... Plus four from all the bonuses, 16. Corn on the house. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Um, well, I'm fine with using a freeze instead for now. We'll probably fail anyway at some point. I uh, suppose Bozu in range? She's also not. I think uh, I think we also lost one square on Mozu somewhere, so that would be another way. We would take an ax hit if we went for Florida's turn. Okay, I'll just freeze. Drop the unit forward last turn. The unit. Drop Felicia forward instead of core and backward. Oh. Oh, I didn't want to go in range of Flora, was why. I'm gonna try and I'm just gonna do the freeze method for now. I'll screw up somewhere and then we'll have an opportunity to fix it that next time. Uh Corn will still be frozen, I guess. Uh yeah. Yeah, Silas is making me I'm really missing Silas right now. Going around the house. To the south. Uh, yeah. Good to know, good to know. Anyway. Considering fighting them with Effie, I don't think I will, though. Would be better to have Korin pair up with Effie for a second? Next turn or so? Uh, let's see, who has the worst staff avoid? Uh, this changes your res, right? So this would make Effie the target, or Mozu, probably. If you freeze Mozu, that's okay. I'll just have them all next to each other. They'll probably go for Mozu, though. I'm safe, trust. Let's see what happens. Get Corrin again? Okay. Does Dragonstone bonus not count? Intriguing. Fascinating, even. Uh, we kind of have to fight this now. And we also have to fight that. So if we have to do this now, that's kind of cringe. I guess we can body block here. But Felicia's the best one to kill mages with. Or is she? Or is she? What if we take care of this problem now? Wait, is that enough? It is right. Plus three. Oh, hold up. Iron bow. <laughs> Never mind. Got him. Uh, It's not great, but we can put core in there. Can we? Plus two and plus two as well. 
I don't think that's quite the same, though. No, it is the same. I think this works. Um... He does go to the bottom house. And then if, I think if he doesn't have any houses, then he starts attacking. He'll go there, yes. But he got better. We'll have to take care of him eventually. I think this is a force move, though. Because otherwise we have to freeze him again or, f like, attack him from the house, I guess, is an option. And then Felicia takes damage for no reason. That doesn't seem good. I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure... This is a kill, right? Wait, do you have a C support? No, right? No, you don't. So Corn doesn't actually give plus two uh, for the personal yet. So this would be 13. So we have to do Effie Mozu if we want to kill Flora this turn. Which we don't have to. Alternatively, we kill a mage. Mozu takes a hit from this guy. We can't take a hit from both of these. Yeah, that's why I'm worried about Septi, is that if I attack from here... Oh, I also would get hit by Flora, so I'd actually die if I go there. So I can't make that move this turn. Because I won't have Guard Gauge built up, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't think Effie can kill this mage. Oh, shit. Effie is so good. Holy shit. Uh, if we kill from below, we're out of range of fighters from the top. That's actually a huge, huge improvement over everything I was thinking of. Goodbye. Okay, and this fighter will hit her for, like, <laughs> six damage. Maybe. Can Effie kill this fighter? Hot damn! <laughs> She's so good. Uh, that looks like a good play. Use the bronze to take a slight risk. Let's do this instead. Goaded! Alright. Uh, this does mean corn remains frozen. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna move these in freeze range. If Flora targets them, that's, that's her own fault. Let's vibe for now. Yo, stop freezing corn. Yeah, you keep doing that. Okay, that group, I hate that group with a vengeance. Okay, so you can't reach that until next turn. So let's just unite with the group. Effie, what mage? <laughs> what mage, bro? I don't see no mage. He's dead, bro. Uh, are you done freezing me? No, not yet. Uh, if I do this... Oh! <laughs> too good, too good. You play a lot of Kong's Lunatic? No. The only playthrough of Kong's Lunatic like, that I have ever done is the one I have on my channel with Gwimpage. That's the only one I've ever done. I don't think there's a way to get corn to someone right now. No, there is. Uh, what's this Mozu give speed? Okay, hold up. Let me cook for a second, right? <laughs> Just watches everything with jabs. I don't know if I would go that far, but you can make her. Anyway, I was thinking of having someone go next to Corn, pair up into Corn, and then they switch up and give Corn to someone else. I mean, we just put people to just the Corn to solve the problem. That's the whole thing. I feel like we could just delete them with Effie, or like get one of them with Effie and be okay that way too. I think that's better than all these other weird maneuvers. Uh, Corn will get frozen. That's okay. I'm gonna fight these fighters. I'm not afraid. Uh, Dragonstone. Four damage. I mean, Effie won't avoid anything, but that's just life. This is kind of DC, but that's okay. Alright, oh, you have a support with Mozu, so you attack with Mozu. Okay, they come in, they come in. There's so many of those. Holy shit, I hate them. But Flora's done doing dumb shit now, so that's okay. Okay, so... Yeah, it's nice to pick your brain, but sometimes I'm not in the mood to get my brain, brain picked to do something else instead. Uh, do we turtle this? I'm gonna turtle it a little bit. I think. Wait, I forgot. Mozu kills everything. Um, I think those are separate. But right now I want to highlight this whole group for a second here. Uh, so Mozu can do like this. I think we still need a corn support with her, so we'll just get this right now. I <laughs> think what mage... <laughs> Uh, well, she's frozen, but completely okay. We'll do this. I guess we still need to get C, Corn, Effie as well. And uh, we'll kill the spear guy now, so he's just moving. And I guess we wait for that soldier to come down here and then kill him as well, before we visit the village. Uh, do we bait now? Let me check these ranges a little bit more elaborately. There's one guy we can fight with Corn separately now. 
Of course, the problem is that that Quorn will take a huge hit. Envy and Rage like a million guys afterwards. It's a little hard to stream this difficulty without knowing what you're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, if I fight now... Yeah, I can't get dual strikes in, I'm afraid. I said chapter 11. 11 is the stairway, right? That one's not, like... That's the easiest map in the game, probably. Oh yeah, I'll probably play Dante Plus on one, one, at one point. Uh, but I'll need a co-host that knows what they're doing. AKA not me. This is such a turtly method, but I kind of enjoy turtling person, especially on streams. Okay, so again, we can delete two guys. Maybe three. Effie can delete a mage. But I think we always left with two mages here. And Effie doesn't survive two mages. Uh, what we can do is delete one fighter and then if we had a Quarren dual strike somewhere, if we had a five damage dual strike somewhere, we could do two fighters. Oh uh, yeah, this guy, you're right. I think I'll turtle this last enemy fight on enemy phase for a second. Then we can kill them all next turn with uh, Felicia. Dual strikes. Because we kill one on enemy phase right now. This one. This plus 5 HP, whatever that means. Because, like, Mozu does, like, 5 damage, right? Yeah, easily. So we can have Mozu Korin kill one on enemy phase. And the next turn, we kill one on player phase with Mozu again. Effie one shots a mage. Felicia with a dual strike can definitely one on a mage next to Korn or whatever. There's one mage left that doesn't kill anyone. As long as Felicia heals Effie. In fact, I don't think they kill Effie right now. But we can't kill them all this turn. So I'm going to turtle it a little bit. Uh, just stay out of range of Flora. I stay out of range of this guy with everyone else. So like Korn has to go here. Can we just. Yeah, we just enemy phase him with this. Yeah, that's fine. You go here. FP has to go here for a minute to get healed. It's okay to step on the village for a second, because the soldier's not in our range anyway. Oh, don't do that. Do this. Heal. Stand back. Fiend. Wait, that's Arthur. Yeah, this corn's not great. There's no rules on corn customization. You can do whatever you want. Uh, do we have to do Bozu? Well, we don't have to, but I think it makes sense. Get support points. Oh, that's not a kill. Um, is that okay? I have a feeling that's not going to be okay. I'll have to go for it, though. We can leave uh, two mage alive, I think. Two two mages alive. We do have to leap a fighter. This is a leap button. Uh, we'll be okay. Felicia's not going to die to mages. I think I have to free up the tile first. Kill with Korn? Question mark? Most of us the full HP fighter. We can use Korn for this one. But in order for Korn to get that one. Or for Mozu. Well, Mozu can. Hmm. It doesn't line up very well. I think this is the strongest mage, though. I think we killed that one for sure. Yeah. What mage? I think this works. Can Moses survive two mages? Uh, no. We kill one, right? So it's fine. And then, yeah, yeah, it should be okay. I guess we have to hit this, which is a little concerning. It's okay, Effie will hit. Now Mozu always hits. Guaranteed. And Felicia next to Corrin kills one more. It's kind of turtle emblem, but this is the quickest way to do it. It's also, damn, this Mozu is just insane. I've never had this Mozu this good. Uh, these are both fine. I think we want to kill the one with the Malefic. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably better to kill the one with the Malefic Aura. Uh, that's enough damage. We do need to dual strike to hit, but I think... Actually, not sure if the Yato or the Dragonstone is more accurate here. 
I want to say the Dragonstone is the less accurate one, but I wasn't confident enough to switch. And 95 looked pretty good to me. Yeah, like, I could... I could probably could have been like one or two turns faster, but not a whole lot faster than this with this team. Okay, so you're gonna... Yeah, you can't do a strike with four. That's like the one thing I overlooked real quickly. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Yep, keep coming. Keep on coming. Alright, so now we... What mage? And I'm gonna... Delete this guy's bank account. For some funny dagger rank. Uh, he might see lethal on Mozo and go for it. Uh, so let's get some Forager. <laughs> is there a terrain here? I don't know if the village counts as terrain. Oh, Odin. Can I borrow your uh, your woods for a second? I need some foraging. Yeah! Forager! Uh, does anyone like really need the XP? These guys are like weak sauce. I feel like the best target for XP is actually Felicia. Um... I don't think she supports Effie at all. So Corrin supported this. Well, skill jokes, I am afraid I'm not in on this one. You don't have to explain that one, Crypt Knight. Alright, hold on. Let me get my let me get my forager up. <laughs> now this is gaming. Arthur Odin. Yeah, that's that's my dream team right there. That's from that abandoned playthrough I mentioned earlier with... Uh, I think I used Replicate Jacob in that playthrough. Hold on, let me, let me destroy Flora real quick. Let me just double check for skills because this is Conquest. If we're an attack by an unjacent foe... Oh, this, this will hurt me, right? But... Not permanently. <laughs> it will hurt. It will just hurt a little bit. I am a non-adjacent foe. Want to activate here? Is it after combat? It's one of those. Oh yeah, no, this this map was horrendous for me first time around. It took forever. I was playing on hard first time around. Which is less than full HP when combat began. What? That's not stipulated at all. Oh. If hurt and then attacked by? Or is it like if hurt, if you start at non a low HP? Uh, what the heck, dude? Anyway, Bozu won't run KO. Just normal things. Oh, that hurt for sure. Well, time to forage. I gotta find my HP in the forest, guys. We are back. Hey guys, any any food in here? I need to get rid of the debuff anyway. I feel like this has extreme potential as a skill to turtle with. Ah, fuck it. What am I doing? Just just move. Just eating weeds and dirt? Probably. This is likely. Likely. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna assume there's some conquest AI shenanigans, but let me just try anyway. Let's see what happens. If I just bait a mage. Nope. Took the bait. I think Moses is a weird trainee because most people at this point probably don't get a whole lot of XP from killing enemies anyway. So it's kind of like you're either gaining something with Moses or you're not gaining a whole lot with anyone anyway. Yeah, I was like, screw that cursor memory. I'm turning it on. Uh, animation's off, though, it's fine. Also, I didn't know these enemies could be baited separately. That's kind of baity. That's kind of baity? I don't know what I'm, what I'm looking for, what word I'm looking for. Anyway, let's go bait some more enemies. Uh, these will probably both move. That's okay. I love how, like, rewarding conquests is to learn, like, little things about. 
And by learning to think about it, I mean listening to other people. Think of a better place than me. Oh no, dual strike. Guard gauge. Support. The whole thing. I need some more core and Moses support, I think. Uh, I mean, I have guard gauge. I could preserve it for the next group, but also who cares? Uh, are you overlapping? No. Ahaha. <laughs> Big mistake, my friend. Wait, Felicia XP. That's better. Just don't take damage. I still take it with Mozu. Hey. Hey. Uh, before I forge, let me put you in range of enemies while at low HP. I'm sure this will go well. I probably shouldn't have Effie paired with her like this. But we'll still get support points, right? Oh, oh, right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I was like, wait, what did I do? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Corn uh, chip? Damn. Help. She's out of control. Someone stop this Mozu. What's so special about Soyo? I mean, it forces me to do 40 turn clears. No strength. No HP. All Mozu. Uh, we can fight one separately again. I think, yeah, this group is definitely group AI. But Mozu could just fight one. Oh, lift the serve gaming. We saved our XP. I think Mozu can take this one without Gorn's help, so I'm gonna do this, I think. Transfer Effie over. Some points that way. And then move backwards. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely Conquest AI stuff. Um I mean Effie's probably fine. Waiting two guys. Or even Felicia. Do you guys still have guard gauge? A little bit, but not enough. This continues to snowball. <laughs> Got him. The effort version? You mean the, the birthright version? Uh, I have to do math here. We don't have to, but I feel like doing math here. I think the better play is to make a mecha's turn wheel so we don't have to reset the whole chapter if we die. And then just experiment. Alright, let's do Corn Effie. Fight like two guys here. Or Dragonstone, honestly. Just just Quarren Lamau, Dragonstone 19 defense. That's pretty good too. Let's do that. And Demoiselle. They set simply one round. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Run! I mean, can I simply one round? No, not yet. Corn's slow. Uh, this guy is too far away, so we just move backwards. Like that. My last heal. Alicia is getting not good the looks, I gotta say. Mosu, out of the way. This is scary. We're getting so many Dragonstone ranks. Nice block. Okay, now we... I think now we kill three guys. Actually, this pair-up situation is not ideal. But I think... Felicia... Into one. Into Effie killing one. Into Mozu killing one guy. Kind of works out well. Actually, I'm not sure if Felicia survives in the fighter now. But we can kill the fighter, probably. 19... Felicia's fine, I think. Mage. <laughs> Wait, are you in range of this? No way, right? No, no way. We're good. Be good, she. 100 hit. These two units are gaming. And. FB on that guy, I suppose. Some dual striking. I'm gonna quit farming heals. Can use child units too? Yes, I can. And I probably will. I have a whole plan. Again, look at my sheet. 
Well, actually, the, the kids don't have any notes together, but the idea for some of them is to pass down skills. <laughs> but there are plans for child units. Uh, I think just kill Maddie's nuts is left. They sure did put values in the pounds for blue chest growth. <laughs> Alright, let's move it. Uh, I wonder if most of can, like, one round kill Ma. There's no way, right? There's no way they'd make that legal. I know he has Vantage Nosferatu shenanigans. Corn is Mage Talent. I think plus magic minus something. Okay, Mozu is definitely not one running. She's getting one running by this guy. Uh, Effie will get wrecked by Nos. So it might have to be the good old Felicia. Felicia chips him down until he's like right above Vanish and we just kill with Effie, I think is the play. Uh, but we should probably heal Effie. A little bit. Most of healing doesn't really matter. But like this is fine, right? We hit him for eight. We debuff his defense by three. So an enemy phase will hit him for 14. You probably 14 plus eight is 20. So actually that would put him below vantage range. Isn't that bad? Kind of. Yeah, it's Monk Talent, yeah. I, f I thought I said Mage. It is Monk Talent, so we can r rally. It's a it's gonna be a very cringe corn. Is there a way to not get wrecked by Vantage here? Normally I think the play is Silas, but Silas does not exist here in this universe. Happened to your ma. Your ma what? Oh, I see what you mean. I see the joke. Wait, actually, we can Brass Naginata first. And then uh, Iron Lance with a strength pair up. Or Mozu Dual Strike or something. And I think that would get us there. Let's do that instead. And yeah, we probably want Quorum pair up for that. I think. I don't know how much strength Quorum gives. Probably like one or two. I think we can make it work. If it doesn't work, we'll just drop it and try again next turn. Yeah, that's not good. Wait, actually, how much HP is this? If HP is 50% or less. Okay, so this is too much damage. And Corn right now is giving to... I think Mozu, or Mozu gives two as well, right? Yeah, okay, so pair up, no good. No pair up allowed. This is Brass Nagi now tied up. Uh, Felicia pair up? I mean, it can't hurt. I think it's like plus 10 hit, which is why I want to do it. There you go. Seems good to me. Bonk, bonk. Oh, perfect. And now... We game in. Uh, let's do Quorum pair up. Boss would heal from Vnas. Uh, but he doesn't have Vantage right now active, so we just do this. Separate. Uh, actually, just get a dual strike, Lamau. How much do you do? 8 plus 3, 9 plus 3. I think the plus hit from the pair up is better. Oh, we actually need to dual strike damage, so that's good. See, easy though. So good. Such a good pair of units. Very cool, chat. Very cool. You gotta love to see it. Currently, <laughs> Kilma will use the Jacket Talisman on this turn. <laughs> it's okay. We have Mecha's turn wheel. We'll have to do a bit again, though. A little bit. Just a little bit. Mozu was perfect. No notes. 10 out of 10. It's okay. The level ups are rigged. 
in our favor. And by level our rank, I mean they're, they're set in stone. Uh, I forgot if we went here or here. I think it was Corrin doing the work. I think it was here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it was here. It was Corrin. Oh, right. They're, they're meanies. Okay. Bring it on. Uh, don't go for Mozo. I think this is incorrect. Wait. Oh, you don't do damage to me. What? It's the Iron Axe guy. Why? Chat, why? We have to use Yato then, I guess. No, we have to use Dragonstone. What? I must have done the different positioning this time. Yeah, Xander, for me, what makes Fate such a good a get candidate for a turn wheel is the fact that the enemy is very clearly divided into groups. That it feels like you're meant to tackle one at a time. Like, the enemy is turtling me. He's, he's turtling you, dude. I can't with this group. I can't with this group. I can't with y'all. Okay, so Mozu has worse res than Korin, so I wonder if I can get the mage to attack Mozu. While well, the rest of these people go for Korin. Was it... Did I do Effie first or something? No way, right? Yeah, but Omap saves is not, like, the same. Although... The other, the other thing it could have, I think, is the DS uh, Fire Emblem well, things. Do you remember? Did they use Effie for this instead of Corrin for like a turn, so that they attacked her? Maybe that was it. I thought it was Corrin for sure, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this mage will go for Mozu this way. Effie has more res technically, and weapon triangle. Uh, let's use the Iron Bow. Let's see if he falls for it. Mage, come here. Oh, right, we're only in range of the mage. Uh... Hold up, let me cook. We're on with the dragonstone. Still has more res, so how about... This? And I'll give you the option... To hit my mozu. Surely this will go well. Bye. Go for Mozo. Oh, right, you won't. This is fine. Oh, you're split up. That's very smart of you. Okay, so Effie can kill the furthest mage. Mozu can kill the fighter. And Felicia can kill the closest mage. I'm pretty sure that guess is off scot free. Yay! What's this? I mean, this could be this could be Corn or could be Mozu. At this point, they're almost equal level too. But we gotta say, tell Mozu she's perfect. So here we go. And Effie, wait, is 15 HP enough? Yeah, it is enough. <coughs> Goodbye. Uh, Felicia's in range. That's okay. Mozu's in range. That's okay too. We'll probably go for Felicia anyway. I mean, how many people call you Kirby, call, you, call you leaders to Kirby? If this is like one guy, who cares, right? If this is a structural problem, that's something else. Dun, 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 dun. My poor heal staff is breaking. I have to buy a new one soon. Uh, is Corn okay against one dude with the Steel Axe? Dragonstone, yes. We have 15 defense. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Got him. Okay, chat. What's a better way to deal with Kilma than whatever the hell I just did earlier? I'm assuming there's no better way. Every plan I ever make in Conquest is just perfect and no notes. Maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay. A plan I can actually do with these units. <laughs> Let me qualify that a little more accurately. I feel like the Felicia plan... Kind of okay? I haven't tried paired up Felicia, actually. Maybe that's a better idea. Go back in time and draft Silas. I mean... I, I just came off... I should also mention this. I just came off a draft play thing... Where... I already used Silas to beat... Conquest, Birthright, and Revelation. Well, mostly Conquest and Birthright. I didn't actually use him in Revelation that much. 
But I was kind of tired of Silas when I drafted here, so I would never. What up, Brad? How's it going? Yato, Korin with Felicia, pair up on enemy phase. Well, first of all, Korin would need to be healed, of course. And, uh, I mean, we, we take damage. The problem is, what do we do beyond, like, hitting almost no damage on, on Kilma? I feel like Effie is the person who does the most damage. It's just very risky. Just hit the 70. Yeah, I think if we debuff while also doing what we did, we get better results. So maybe something like this. And just have her do this on any phase. Is to play. If we do this first, we have many more options after that. I think. Like we do this. Oh, also, oh, this is her dad. That's that's good knowledge. That's that fate floor. Okay, so now he's debuffed. Oh, that's so close. What if Felicia was not Felicia? This is like about as good as we had before. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I won't forget Noss healing. I didn't last time either. Uh, actually, what we can do is we can make him hit Felicia. He'll Noss heal for four. But then we'll hit him twice more with the Iron Dagger. Uh, Felicia lives. I think we're fine if we just wait one more turn and then attack with Effie. Surely he'll use the, the, the thing this turn. Gate healing. Oh yeah, gate healing exists. Let's put him in vantage range. No, because uh, he'll heal up to 4, so he'll go up to 26. Then take 14. So he'll go down to 12 or so. But gate healing should heal more than 3. Yeah, it heals 6. So I think gate healing... I think we use the gate against him. We use his own we use his own spell against him this way. I think this works. And yeah, Felicia will be low as hell on HP. We just move her out. And she has guard gauge now, too. So actually, Felicia can just want we want him here. We don't have to risk Effie if we don't want to. Uh, and if we do this and we miss, then he heals a bunch. But like this time, the accuracy is like so good. Uh, oh, Felicia actually doesn't kill from here. We could do it, but it puts him in Nosferatu range. So I think just trying Effie here is the best way. And by trying, I mean, please hit. Uh, 16 plus 3. This is probably better. <laughs> and this also gets us another dual strike. So we should just do this. Alright. But I think it's holding L that gives you an animation. I think. Most of the adjacency. Oh, right. Support mode. Let's, let's go. I mean, does it give dual strike hit as well? No, right? Alright. Let me hold L and see what happens. Yep, that works. Okay. Mozu! Me too, she said enthusiastically, murdering her own dad. Why didn't you kill the the father? Hold that L, exactly. Ah yes, that's the most Effie level up I've ever seen. Typical Effie. Plus one speed. Very normal stuff. If only Effie would get stats that weren't speed, man. She'd be so much better. <laughs> Me too, Patricide. All right. All right. You. 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 But in. Yeah, she's like Lynn. I mean, Lynn sometimes doesn't even get speed. That's what makes her so sad. Oh, she turns around when you like near her. I didn't. I never read these little details about conquest. They're so cool, or like fates in general. I meme on fates a lot, but some of these little things I can appreciate. Wait. Oh, he does it too. Oh. All right. Wait, we got a bunch of gold, right? And we got supports. Oh, great. Yay. Felicia A. Drop into pots. Ooh. Kormozu. Perfect. I still need Effie. Corn C somehow, but we'll probably get that next chapter. We got Talisman too. We might sell that. We will see. What do I need to buy now? At some point I'm reclassing Effie to Archer, but I only have one. I get one heart seal next chapter. I don't think I'm using that soonish. Maybe Corn at some point. I don't know how good Monk is. Probably not very good. Base class is probably fine for Corn right now. Not Hitaka. Uh, I've played with Hitaka a lot. 
<laughs> yep, that's right. I have much more money than normal. I think we get a lot of tonics here. I just not, I'm just i gonna buy some of everything because I'm rich right now. I'm gonna need them for sure. Second freeze is tempting, but I have the first one still. I don't think it makes sense to spend on that. I think I need a new heal, right? Not a bad draft. I mean, Conquest doesn't have any bad units, so that, that's probably why. I think having one more heal, I'm gonna need it anyway for a couple chapters later. So I'm gonna buy this now. And I need some Volns at some point, I think. Buy full strength, couple speed, couple defense, and a res tonic. Um, what else exists? Oh, we can build a forge now, probably. Didn't expect that, did you? Nah, definitely didn't. We need for prison. I hate the lottery shop. Mess hall is tempting. For cooking. I do have the resources to cook whatever I want. I forgot to add. I, I forgot, I mean. I didn't know how to add it in the chef's hat quickly enough. So, smithy it, it is. Let him cook. Did ya? Uh, Forge Bronze is really good. Could buy that. Make Mozu even more strong. I mean, I would ask you guys what you think, but I already know what your answer is going to be. I mean, Mozu has so much strength, we probably don't need the Bronze, is the funny thing. Maybe we should forge a knife or something dumb like that. Or we should buy the Javelin for Effie. That probably adds a lot of options to us. Many Without Boonade, it's better off closed. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have those, uh... Wait, I really don't have a chap. I really don't have a chaplain. Like this. That's. I am kind of tempted to buy the bronze bow, to be honest. Damn, I'm saving 4k by not using Odin. I can't believe it. I could sell Odin's tomes, but uh, Leo joins later, and he might be able to use some forged tomes later. So I don't think it makes sense to sell my what is it? Fire now, my thunder. We might be able to, but I have 7k right now. I don't think I need to do this. Hmm, is the Bronze Boat? Bronze Boat 2 is really good. Felicia Strategist? I've probably done it before. Uh, Steel Knife? I don't know about that. I have... <laughs> how many times? I, I mean, I did fight a bunch of mages with Felicia, to be fair. So maybe it is worth doing. I think what I really want is a Forged Iron for Effie. Because I feel like next chapter she's going to do a bunch of work. But I'll hold off for a second. Forged Iron is also an option. I think Forged Bronze is usually considered yes. better. Then Forge Iron. But I guess it depends on the unit. This this Mozu probably doesn't need Forge Iron. So she might prefer the accuracy of the Bronze Bow. Because her strength is so busted. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's explore without Tonics and then see what we need, right? We have this whole defense seal group here. And we have Nyx. <laughs> I forgot to uh, recruit Nyx before, which is a very costly mistake. Because I needed her for something. I forgot what. I think I wanted to pair her. Um... Let me see if we can get Effie to one round these. I think I've tried that before. It's really difficult. But it might be possible if we have... Or activate all our things. Uh, let's see. How much does it take to double these guys? 16. So that's not happening. Uh, yeah, Corn is not reaching that. I don't think. We don't have a Niles pair up. So that our AS, AS thresholds means are very limited. Felicia can reach the doubling threshold. But she does like one damage at base, so we're not getting there. Forging bronze costs more gems, but is more accurate, and all scripts on both sides. Forge iron costs fewer gems and the same gold, or the same might, but worse soft stats, and you have infinite gems. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think Mosu's already basically one running, with like just a speed, speed tonic. She's at 16, and she has 20 attack. Weapon triangle, so 20. Oh, wait, doesn't count yet. Wait, it's just C, right? No, it's just D. Okay. So, no no might bonus. So, we're doing 20. Uh, 10 per hit. So, if we give her Effie, that's plus 3, I think. So that's 13 per hit. So, she can one round Spear Fighters already. I think this... Oh, this Archer can be singled out, I think. Without any Conquest AI shenanigans. So, that's one guy we can one on at any phase. But then we have... One, two, three, four guys left on player phase. And we're probably gonna have to pair up Mozu to one on that guy, right? No, we don't, because we are that good. 20 attack. Okay, this guy is already dead to Mozu as she is right now. That's pretty impressive. Uh, and then Mozu kills one. 
I don't think Effie can kill with Mozu Dual Strike, but there might be a chance. We have 25 attack right now. 25, 15. Mozu do 10 per hit, 20. Huh. I think with Poussant we might have a chance in Strength Tonic. This is plus 3, so that's 20 strength. Which she already has, okay. So we are we get the Poussants guaranteed against these guys. So we actually have We're really close. I think if they both have a strength tonic, I think we get there. I reckon Vake can bait these lines with weapon triangle. He would also have weapon triangle. Would he? No, he's weapon triangle neutral against bows, right? He would also lose a bunch of speed from hand axe to be fair, he upow. Like minus five. <laughs> Most into mini bow? Uh not for the archers. Or for, or for dual strikes, which is what I was thinking. Yeah, but alternatively, I could use Guild Force on my units, which is really good. And just kill two in one turn. Which is way better, because then you can skip the end game. And there's no other way to do it besides Guild Force, so there's that. Corn C. Yeah, it's kind of weird how we haven't gotten that yet. I feel like I've put some effort towards it, but I think I guess it keeps falling off on the the top three or whatever. I have been prioritizing Effie, Mozu, and Core and Felicia, so I'm guessing it just isn't getting enough. Will we be getting a What If Fake Wasn't Fate series? <laughs> I wish. You are getting something of the kind soon enough. If you're a patron, you already know. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, right. Um, so you're saying Core and Effie is one short? With the one shot? That's impressive. Because Core gives plus two. Oh, and then plus two more, yeah, that'd be good. Because right now we're doing 25, 28, 30 with a strength tonic, 20. Yeah, we're five damage short. If the dual strike Effie gets there, I think. Uh, like a dual strike from Mozu or something. But we'd have to hide Mozu in a weird spot. I think we strength tonic Effie for sure, and Mozu, and we try to cook from there. I think it's going to be the plan. I forgot what else. I think there's a bunch of unwilling reinforcements in this chapter that I'm not bother to dodge a whole lot. I might even have Corn grab Nyx first. I don't have Nyx, so I guess we can wait on that. But I need to not forget to get Nyx. <laughs> it's the most important part. Okay, let's just cook for a little bit after we give Tonics. So, Effie... I think Defense Tonic on Effie makes sense, too. Strength and Defense, and Mozu just Strength. I'm not sure what we need to Strength for, but we might be able to do some dual Strike shenanigans. Make a backup save of my preps in motion. How there? Did get his tenure. We can I actually put Mozu in the spot I wanted to. No, right? No. Uh, what if? Instead of being dumb, I put it in the right spot. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could still. We could just bait both on turn one, really, right? Because they. Hmm. Does that work? I don't think it works. Okay, give me a sec here. This works. Uh. Let's go. What's the spot? It's right here. Just, just go here. Just forget about it. No thinking allowed. Alright, they're gonna do the rally in every turn. I think I have to start walking around with Azura at some point too. Let's not forget that. Alright, let's go grab Nyx, I guess. Come back here. I am not opposed to turtling chat, I'm sorry. Uh, so here, switch. I think bronze bow is enough. 23. Yeah, that's enough. Build some guard gauge for them both. This one is free. It's on the house. Are they going to stay there like that or it's going to move? Nope, they're free. Okay, so now we can see how much Effie does. So right now we have 21, 29 attack. I don't know if the, this counts Poussins. I don't think it does, because it, it has no way of knowing if it's going to be active. So we have 29, I think with 32. I think Mozu with a dual strike kills. The question is, do we want to be in range of Aldo? I think we're just going to try it, and if it doesn't work, well, shit. Uh, like, if we were to just put Mozu behind her like that. Wait, can we not switch here? What? Oh, Waste. Apparently that's not good for Effie. She can't be in Waste. That makes That's a Waste. 
That's a waste. Uh, we don't have to kill them all, I guess. We just fight like three. Say we went here. Switch. Wait, okay, is that safe? Yeah. Okay, go here. Switch. And Mosin the Iron. And drop. And we can heal if we want to. We don't feel like it right now. And just drop here. We get Heartseeker. Technically, we don't get Heartseeker, but we get Heartseeker. Oh, I need to deploy Niles for uh, getting treasure. That's for war. That sucks. Is there another tre treasure key here? Cornus Mill. Oh, damn. That's so good. <laughs> that's so good. I just realized Zora can only get this chest, right? So I need. To, or or this chest, but I can't get both. So it's not. It's just. Nah, I'm restarting for the. for Niles. I need selling stuff. Nagnata is based. We only did like a couple things anyway. I'm allowed to bring Niles. For treasure. Yeah, there's, there's one chest key. The, the Fate's chest keys are a bit weird. They disappear after you get them, so you have no way of having enough chest keys if Jeff doesn't give them to you. Yeah, boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. I did not draft or get sure I drafted. Uh, we just propose you here this time. Just pair up. There's five here. Oh, there's just the one on the Myrmidon that Azora's fighting at some point. Okay, so Mozu here. Uh, Corrin always gets her turn too, right? And we'll just use Felicia, that's fine. Uh, just hide in the corner and chill. I should really question why my turn isn't over yet every time I'm about to end turn. Because of Azora. It's a good habit to get into. Alright, grab her. Here, up. Transfer. I forgot what the spot was, but I think going up a little bit will do. Like this go. No, wait, I need to make sure Mozu's safe. So, if I drop her below here. Oh, wait, you can't switch there. That's right. That's why we went here in the first place. So, we have to go there. Here, switch. Separate. Wait. Mozu! I guess she's getting our defense sealed, I guess. I hope the enemy doesn't see that a dual strike will kill her. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. I blew it. Why can't you bring obstacle? What's obstacle? Wait. Oh, okay. Never mind. Good Chido. That's fine. Intentional. More uh, Mozu exposure support. Something, something. Oh, we don't have a speed pair up right now. So we don't double Lolgers. Corrin gives speed, right? Kill that one with Corrin. One shot with Effie? No? Oh. Don't tell me I have to break out. Thinking strats. Uh, Dranstone? Oh, gate based. Base, base, base. And what else happens here? Uh, this. Also based. Oh, I guess... Oh, you don't have sealed defense. Great. Excellent. Goodbye. Great stuff. Alright. Uh, you're not allowed to do Heartseeker things. But you're allowed to move up and get the chests. Not sure how I'm tackling the reinforcements yet. Maybe I should suicide pick, so I don't have to think about her <laughs> every time. Uh, this guy is separate, I'm pretty sure. We can waste the enfeeble pretty freely. I think with this guy, you don't want to make sure that make sure his, his guard gauge is up all the way. Advantage on both, right? Yep. And duelist blow. Okay, so he probably dodges my enemy phase attack and doubles me. 19 speed. I think that's everyone. The Felicia. We can use Felicia for this one, I guess. We might hit him. 
bomb dismantling? You mean just going slow, or...? <laughs> I'm honestly down for uh, Brass Knight and Atta Shenanigans here. I can't dual strike anyway, so I should probably just pair up with Corn to get C support. Switch, uh, transfer, and heal. Certainly, I could umpire to make sure I have extra characters to attack with, because this is a bit of a threat duo. Maybe I will do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Change my mind. Sorry, Effie. No support with corn for you yet. Although this this still gets points, so it's fine. Okay, it's good. I suppose this is not a good opportunity to defeat Felicia. Yeah. I mean, this is a one shot, so we just farm here. By farm, I mean we murder with Mozu, apparently. Damn, dude, are you even trying? I talk <laughs> drops a heart so you can use the reclass next to Outlaw. Okay, that's. That's teeny. That's very cursed. I didn't remember that one. Also, we have Azura now. That's great. We actually get to do stuff with Yuna twice. Uh, I'm gonna waste the Enfeeble because it's 10 p.m. I don't feel like thinking. But if you're a smart boy, or girl, or non-binary, or anything, there are so many ways to not have to do this, but I'm gonna do this. Enfeeble me. I don't deserve stats. You have to get a level for Nyx for skill. Yeah, but you know, there's enemies in this chapter. I, I'm confident you can get the skill. Yeah, but you still need to level up in Outlaw to get the skill, right? Uh, wait, where do I go? Huh? I thought it was a safe spot for her every turn. Did I not move last turn? I have to fight this clown? No. I vol. Doesn't Dragon Pain forever not get attacked? Oh, the guy just walks around? Okay, that's good. Because I don't feel like thinking about that every single turn. Yeah, she needs. I think she wins the 1v1 if she uses a vol. Which, I mean, is not terrible. Also, if you're seeing ads or you're seeing ads anytime, that is a YouTube thing. Also, I think Corn is in range of an enemy, I just realized. Shining Bow, no less. Hopefully, he'll be okay. He might get enfeebled and wrecked, though. We're okay. Okay, looks like I don't have to move Azura every single turn, which is such a relief. Okay, so we got Enfeebled. So he got the tension. You like Mecha? You love Mecha Live! Okay, how many more? Two? Gotcha. Okay, I actually didn't notice. This is really good. I have to do the sex bots. I turned on a thing that makes you... makes... that auto unapproves links posted in chat. That seems to solve the issue, but it also makes it that anyone who posts a link just gets their message censored, so... There's pluses and there's minuses to this strategy. Just like this strategy takes forever. But, it means you don't have to think about Enfeeble at all. I remember the, the strategy that... Gwimpage proposed, which is Niles pairs up with his Jacob and then gets from outside of Enfeeble range to inside of Enfeeble range to kill right away, and then he's here and he just fights everything. It was not spectacularly great because he kept dying and Azura kept dying and like stuff kept going wrong with the reinforcements, but it was pretty cool. Uh, let's get rid of the Enfeeble debuffs. I think once Effies are gone, we're good. One more turn. And then we'll start thinking about, you know, stuff. Okay. So this is not good for obvious reasons. We can make it good with Effie pair up, maybe. If we have Effie here, they'll do only 14 damage, but there'll be multiple of them, and then she will kill them in one round and dual guard and stuff. It's probably not enough. And there's a Shining Bow. We'll pierce that. 
Yeah, I think it was like Silas here, and then the enemies don't see that they can... The enemies think that Silas is in range because they don't check for enemies or for player units blocking their way. So they think the enemies be or they think the player units behind Silas are in range of the enemies. And because they want to enfeeble people who are in range of enemies, they'll go for like Odin or something. And then, yeah, it's really cool. I'm going to try to staff in it one day, but not that day is not today. Anyway. Uh, Felicia is surprisingly terrible against Shining Bow, despite her res. Uh, we have Javelin, Effie. And we know Mozu deals 10 damage with a normal attack. That's not enough for a dual strike kill. What about Dragonstone Corn? Uh, their attack is... Okay, their res is much lower. So maybe Dragonstone Corn plus Effie could get the kill, but I have a feeling that she's going to miss out. And the accuracy is sussy. I think they're also rally defense, right? I think that is the case. Yeah, that's kind of why this is so annoying. Yeah, I think suffering success is a real danger for Mozu, especially with her <laughs> with her no HP. So I'm trying to see what the safest strategy is. The safest strategy is usually one run killing. No, Felicia is really terrible at fighting stuff. Really, really terrible when it's not a mage. Um, dun, 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 dun. This is a good example of the enemy turtling a little hard. Normally, this is just where I whip up my Nosferatu Odin and just go to town. And they can't do a whole lot about it. How much do you give again? Plus four. So if she's at full HP. She still dies in two hits. That's impressive for my for Mozu. Uh, is this the strongest guy? Well, the Shining Bow might do less. No, not really. Mozu is less res than defense. I'm, if he makes it even worse, so I think Mozu is out. We could just avoid their range for now and go up here. I mean, we know they move if they see someone in their range, right? I think if I go up here, they will still move to fight. Actually, I think they're hard coded to not exit this room. Quick draw, yeah, true. But then I just get plus four on player phase, but I don't get to kill him any easier, I don't think. Maybe with the quorum pair up? Okay, like not one round. Oh, I could just bronze bow, I guess. Uh, 16, yeah, this is not a one round, I guess. That's an option. I mean, the shrine maiden? Or bloom festal? No, they won't do that. Well, actually, maybe they'll run away. <laughs> they have underdog? Oh, interesting. Uh, I should probably think about that. Bow's level higher. Well, we trained our Mozu a lot, so yeah, it's higher. Just get Mozu level up so quick. I fed her like <laughs> her entire paralog, and then a lot of more enemies, and she got a bunch of strength, so killing was easy. Yeah, this Shrine Maiden doesn't move, so I think what will happen is we fight one archer, and then next turn he will want to run away, but he won't get to because we kill him. And we just repeat that trick. And we just kind of hope that Mozu doesn't murder these guys. The thing is, though, that if I pair up with Effie, I do murder them. But actually, maybe I don't. Let's check that math. Uh, heal with Felicia to get to absolute full HP. I'm also going to make a mech stern wheel here so you guys don't have to sit through the beginning again. So pair up. And check again. Okay, I can, like, not murder them, like Xander said. I have to do this on enemy phase. Because if I do it in player phase, then it'll suicide. Uh, also, I can attack twice from there, so I have to go here. This is better. And then Quorn. If it's murder and heal, though. Yo, well... So that's the thing, right? If I player phase murder and then heal, I enemy phase murder afterwards, right? I guess I could trade afterwards? That's an option as well that I didn't think of. But we're stuck with this now. Alright, so now we get quick draw. So now we cannot, like, not murder them. Also, we got a strength level up. Wait, does that mean we're going to suffer from success now? Probably not, because we're getting a guard gauge, I think. We can also trade our weapons away. Do we think she's going to suffer from success? There's only two archers. So if we heal her, she gets the full. She kills one. She gets guard gauge for next one. So we're fine. Uh, let's make sure she murders them. Get it level over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. All right, C stabs. Here we go. Hold that L. 
Yeah, quick draw doesn't work, but her strength level up will make her one round on the enemy phase. The quick draw was strictly meant for like player phase. Like I can't, I no longer have the option to use the bronze bow on player phase and not murder them, which is fine. We don't need to anymore. Did you just say you smell of a goat? Mozu smells like the goat. That be short on a Mozu? Oh, where do you think you're going? Oh, he's like, I don't have pair up anymore. Let me run away. Well, that's that problem solved. Goat smeller. Goatard. Alright, next uh, turtling objective. One day I'll be able to not turtle maps. It's going to be great. She has two hits now with the defense level. Oh, she got the defense. She also has 20 HP now. She has more than 19 HP, guys. Impressive, for sure. Steel Naginata. Oh, we're getting into these. But, like, we already know Effie can kill these with an enemy phase combat. I think if we put Effie here, she just wrecks everyone, right? Because we already know Effie wrecked the earlier soldiers. Like, let me check that again. I think F Mozu got another point of strength, right? As well. I go here. I forgot it's his proxy importance. They better not. There might be some reinforcements for Azura, though. But it's okay. If we lo reload the turn wheel, then we just get more funny level ups. I guess we have to worry about the pair ups, uh, guys, because do we don't kill them with a dual strike. <laughs> Every map is a turtle map with the right time mindset. For sure. But, like, this is 27. The Mozu gives a dual strike for, like, uh, 23. 13 damage. <laughs> uh, I think if we throw Effie here, we'll get sealed defense and murdered. I wonder. Will the will the non-paired one move, move first? Because I think enemies with seal skills have priority on moving because they want to seal before they get other attacks in. But in this case, both the paired up and the non-paired up people have seal. And I would like to kill the sealed one, the, the single ones first, because the, the dual ones I can't kill in one round. I'm banned from matching the wrong mode. Much time out, Kirby Master. Uh, this guy is an easy one-shot already, I think. Can we get just some single guys? Just, just some, some hot singles from this area? I think we just ignore this guy. And get at least this guy. Just ignore this pair right now. So just go like here. That would be fun, I think. Sure, let's try that. I don't think this will work as, as intended, but we can definitely try. Oh, just, just straight up just doesn't work. Just straight up like, no, no. And we're all coming too. Nice job, Mozu. Are they all moving now? Or oh, they're trying. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, clearly that's not the way it's intended to do it. Trying to game the filter, eh? Mecha Stormwheel. Right. Okay, hold on. Let me try the gaming strat of just killing on player phase. Seems fun as well. Although technically the bronze bow method gives us more XP. So like we do this, right? I guess we have to hit. Oh, that's the wrong way. Hold up. I hit the wrong guy. Oh yeah, I literally cannot attack another guy. What happened? Alright, she dies too. I have to pair with FP. That's it. But also, if I do this, I still get attacked by two guys. But if I murder and heal, I'm fine. But well, I know I get the good level up, that's why. It's like, yeah, this guy's dead now, and then next time we get Gargage and I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. The faster method. RNG minipping? No, this is not RNG minip. What? Yeah, Gage is gaming, turns out. Well, maybe I'm not fine. Well, I am fine. I just got some extra experience out of this. Hey! That's right, I reloaded the turn wheel with the same RNG. Goodbye. Bronze bow. Okay, so um, paired up Effie? Clearly, Septi, your logic of one-shotting things is flawed just because I cannot one-round this pair-up Spirit Fighter. 
this spirit up fighter. The 3,000 gold guy. He's gold. He ruins the run. Yeah, Korra and see you could though. How? Is he one shot paired up spear fighters with that? Well, maybe if Effie had gotten it. Spear up seal fighter. Yeah, that's basically what he is. We can fight the top guys first, I guess. And if we, I don't know, get a good level up, we might be able to do it. We were like one off before and we killed a bunch of guys in the process. So maybe we're one more in. Magic is already trash. What's the issue? Who's magic? All the magic is trash, right? Go north. I can go north first, but in the end, I still have to fight the spear fighter. I guess I can fight the guys first. Just for fun. Just to have something to do, you know? Most would double? Hell yeah. Well, with the spear pair up, she does. She needs one speed. So, corn is enough. Corn is enough. Uh, I think this guy dies. This guy might die to Javelin. Uh, don't break that wall yet. Actually, we can break that wall. Fine. It's fine. Break the wall. Sure. There you go. Enjoy. Also, right behind. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he didn't have seal, so it's fine. But damn. Good job, Mozu. Mozu's nice. Uh, let's get a level up on FV ASAP so we can maybe do some things that we couldn't before. Almost there. Sure. I'm always a little bit scared to use that quick feature of doing things like that. Because what if I misclick slash do something wrong? Corn FV pair up. Yeah, that, that works. That also gets me Corn FV finally. <laughs> if that's nothing else. Uh, there's not a break wall yet here. Let's try that. We'll make another turn wheel here. Don't worry, I'll reload the, the, the safe one if we're going south. The one where we get to good level up, just so we can see it again. Alright, so... For an F, you say. Well, well, well. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. I mean, isn't Corrin, like, about as bulky as Effie with Dragonstone and Demoiselle active? Like, Effie has 17 defense. Corn is 19 and then Wazel. <laughs> that might be better. Maybe we get Effie sealed and we switch to Corn. And then we kill everything. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Oh, I need to make sure not, not to forget to get Niles over here. We'll do it at some points. Maybe some point is now. We might as well. Okay, so. I kind of like the idea of having Effie do it first. Okay, let's do that. Break the wall. And then Corrin goes in and goes in hard. Mozu picks him off. We fight. Yes, Effie level. It happened. Strength, yes. Yes, more speed. Of course. Uh, nothing triggered yet. I thought that this would surely trigger all the enemies to move, and it didn't. I feel fragilated. Alright, so let's switch to Corrin. Do we? Or are we okay with Effie getting wrecked here? Well, she probably won't get wrecked. So just deal a bunch of damage. But she already she already has sealed defense, so it's probably better to have Effie do this for now. And then have Corrin stay intact. It is this choke point is pretty strong. Damn, this is really easy to choke in Little Tick. I didn't know that. Damn, she's so close. Like literally saw Corrin see was all she needed. That's so sad. Uh, Corrin play Wonderwall. Do you one-shot Corrin? No. So Corrin might get sealed as well, because the other guy's going to have it too, right? The, yeah, this is the gold guy. But Effie's literally low. Uh, I can have Mozu kill, or I can have... I think I better have Felicia heals first. Uh, Brass Naginata on heal, I think? Yeah, exactly. Oh, now we have Guard Gauge too, so we don't have to heal per se. Per se. Alright, Mozu, chill out. Let's heal first. Although we probably could have killed that guy with Mozu and then the spear fight. Well, the next spear fight that might be annoying. Well, you know, we have guard gauge. We could have just done that. I think we could have done that. Honestly, we might want to take chill with Korn's XP anyway, because Korn needs to reclass a couple times. And we don't want to have too many levels under her. Or under him. And he gets the 
what's it called? The chapter to promote. This guy's no seal, so I think we go corn here. Also, we can fight this one with Mozu, which is kind of funny. Yay! 3 XP. It's level 1 Myrmidon, I think. Uh, you know what? Effie's doing fine. Let's have Effie tanking here. It's quite precious. Almost got the chest. Did we get the other chest yet? Yeah, we did. Okay. Excellent. Alright, now I'm getting one with Mozu. Mozu! Alright, gaming. And now we'll get a bunch of reinforcements if we go in for her, right? Yeah, so the steel defense is still on. We can get the, the big spear fighter now. 24. Doesn't double. Oh yeah, I can bring Azora over to make it even easier. I'm a little worried about getting caught by the reinforcements. I don't know exactly who or what triggers reinforcements. Dragon Vein Zone? Are you aligned? Oh, uh, that's kind of convenient. So many tricks. Okay, not, not yet. I think this is roughly where I remember it being. No further, right? Oh, cool. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, Azura. It's been nice. It's been good. It's been real. Uh, is this in range? No, apparently it's not. Surely there won't be reinforcements now. Surely things will be okay. I mean, we could just deploy the same strategy that we just did. It's not like reinforcements will be that much stronger, right? They'll be like a bold knight now, so. Oh, hey. Azora's here. Welcome. So good. Good to see you. Uh, I just want to get dolls in the chest and get them out of there. Let's take advantage pawns. None whatsoever, as far as I know. It's probably some kind of weird exception that someone's about to point out, but generally, no. Okay. Efficient use of a dancer right there. Yeah, it's this really a dragon. Although you don't really see it in this route, I think. Anyway. Uh, let's have Effie eat another seal. While fighting. And see what happens. We probably should dance a little bit with Azora to get combos going. But for now, let's just have... I don't know. The support building doesn't really matter. I think they're already maxed out for this chapter anyway. But it's, it's bow XP, I guess. Bring it on. Oh, that's so many dudes. <laughs> That's so many dudes. But Mozu can pick him off, probably. What? What? Not killing. We need a quorum pair up here. Plus two speed is enough, though. We know that. Do we kill the Bolt Naginata first? Kind of like killing that one first. Uh, oh, we have a uh, Azura, too, to kill two of them. <laughs> Some ambush if you expect it. We could use Felicia as well. Uh, Felicia doesn't give strength, but she does give a bunch of speed. That way we can keep Corrin on Effie. Or Effie on Corrin. Uh, all these guys are level 8. My units are roughly equal in level anyway. I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try this, uh, this method over here. But I do need to pair up first, so let's pair up. Switch. Am I okay with taking the Bolt Naginata? I wanna see if I can get Guard Gauge. I don't think I can yet. Uh, switch. Uh-uh-uh. Bronze Bow. Miles, bye. You did your thing. Oh my God, that's gonna be a uh, that's a reaper, right? Yeah. Okay, so Effie is kind of boned-ish. How's Corn do here? Oh, that's perfect. We should just do this and then pair. Goodbye. Kind of want to kill this pair now because they're. Uh, they're gonna switch up again. I don't think I can do it. Even with Azora here. Effie's kinda gotta go, I think. Yeah, Effie's not, not long for this world. Oh, see bows? <laughs> in, in three chapters. <laughs> we got the bows in her joining chapter, and then see bows two chapters later. That's kinda fast. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we just have to accept that Azura gets like no value here, which is fine. Just dance. Just dance, dance, dance. 
And Dragonstone is good. Just pair up into corn. This is why we didn't get sealed earlier. And just separate these two so we can heal and fight. Kind of like that. That's a good use of a Zora right there. That's good. That's good. Alright, so they switch up. They're still not at guard gauge yet, so we can still kill them. Corn is going to take a bazillion damage here, actually. Oh, actually, I fucked up, didn't I? Yeah. I forgot about the archers. No, the aura. Oh, right. We need Felicia there. I think Felicia there would have saved it. I think Felicia there would have would have had it. Uh, what is this? This is right before reinforcement trigger. That's not that far back. Uh, now it's GTFO. Okay, that's good. Uh, nothing in range here. I think it was Felicia goes first, or um, what's her face? Effie goes first. All good. Moves to the side a bit. Looking for. I don't know if can, can these even be blocked. I have always had a feeling you can't, but maybe you can move them a little bit. Okay, so this was uh, we killed a steel guy with Mozu. Oh, I moved these away again. I have to dance them, I guess. Uh, we killed this one. No, we killed this one. Air up. I know that move is completely weird. Could just stay where I was, but you know what I mean. Uh, we can go... There, I guess. Police Shadow Range of Korin this time. Mozu in the corner. Sure. All good. Corn gets sealed. Which is on Fortnite. But it's fine. And this. This is gaming. That's a lot of people trying to come at me. This is the only wave, right? I'm actually questioning whether Corn is the right one for this. I mean, if we get rid of the paired up, then it's probably okay for Effie to wreck them. Afterwards. Guard gauge is up. The defense is at, what, 13 right now? Let's get Demoiselle, though. Um... Uh... is healed to, like, 4, right? Not quite. Effie is at 4. Effie has one less defense than Quarren, but the, the paired up guy will be gone. Nah, that's the whole that's the whole problem with this chapter. The supportive isn't up with Corrin and uh, Effie. They don't have C support yet for some reason. Which I probably should have worked on in chapter seven. Because it would have been really nice here. I forgot what I did work on, but it I must have just been Corrin. Felicia. Anyhow. I wanna say Effie will be okay if I just switch and attack. So I'll try it out, I guess. Uh, let's try killing this guy. Oh, I should have gone for the other one, actually. That one's low. Which means we'll suffer from success, probably. So how about... Uh, do we do this? I mean, it works, I guess. Well, that one. Dance. I think actually just keeping Felicia in range will get her killed, I think. Mozu might be okay, but I don't think so. In fact, I think everyone here is kind of dead to the archers in combination with seal defense. I mean, we can do this, but I don't think I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Maybe if we put a Felicia here, she won't die in one round. And then she'll be fine. Mozu just wrecks everyone. I say that, but actually... Oh, she wrecks archers. She will suffer from success from the archers. Uh, Felicia will be okay, but she'll be attacked from two spaces. Uh, Korin can't... Well, Korin doesn't have a ranged attack, so if Felicia takes Korin, then not much happens. I also think, uh, Korin will kill with Felicia, I think. Because... Or rather, Felicia will kill with Korin, because I think Korin gets free strength at this point, with the B support. Might be wrong on that, though. 
Perfect. Now we're getting two from the pair up. Uh, I guess that's one way to go about it. I was hoping to heal Effie with Felicia. But I guess they might see that Corn is that uh, Mosu's more uh, more vulnerable. We check in with Mosu is like the same thing, right? We could like put Felicia here as bait for one archer. Uh, and then the archer will be stuck here. And the other archer will probably dual strike with with them and kill Mozu, I think. We can try this. Let's try this then. It probably is correct that Felicia with Mozu is better than vice versa. But I think Effie's in danger regardless. Because of stuff like this. They also like clearly want from Effie first, so. Yeah, Effie is a is an Effie person. This is an awkward point, for sure. An awkward point indeed. Yeah, a stranglehold on the formation. Yeah, the one tile choke was kinda nice. To not get attacked by so many people. But the archers are still there, so I don't know. There's still two spaces for archers to attack her there, which was a killer in the end. She didn't suffer from success or anything. I guess she did get attacked by multiple soldiers, right? Did she? I think so. I could try to go for the Dragon Vein. The only people who can trigger the Corn and Azura, though, and I feel like I both need them both here. If I could Dragon Vein with, I don't know, Mozu, <laughs> that'd be one thing. I mean, it's already Turtle Emblem anyway. Um, let's move in range of. Let me see. Move the archer group. Bring the zone. What? There's no archer group without the zone, though. There's only one archer here. Oh, the spear fire pair up. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, that might be an option, actually. We'll try that. I. Don't think there's any way to one round them, like I said before, so we'll just have Effie get sealed again. Compare with Corrin. And uh, see what happens. Uh, if we go further down, we'll probably get wrecked. Oh, yeah, we get, we do trigger them, that's right. Let's just load then. What is the deal then? What is the square? It's column 6 to 9, I think someone said. Uh, it's at the Dragon Vein range, but further right. So you have to be here to not trigger it, and then go further down. Like this and further right. It kind of overlaps with the Spear Fighters, right? I mean, because you said you can do it, I believe you. Just not seeing the square right now. The right side. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to go like here and then down. That can work. Uh, let's go fully shot in that case. There's movements. Although you probably don't need it. What if we just rush on Hitaka? Well, you see. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to use a freeze on Hitaka. <laughs> and I can't use Heart Seeker, so I'll probably miss a bunch of times. All right, Corrin, you're up. Uh, is this, I think we have to be here first. This is where Azura was before. Infinite time, oh really? Well, in that case, I'm just gonna say it, I want the XP. I'm not, not proud of it. I said what I said. Dragonstone moments? Yay! Miserable Corrin. Yo, is this better with Felicia? Yeah. <laughs> Give up on this Corrin. 
I mean, avoiding a trigger is just smart. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, here. Okay, so that's that duo removed. Now we just fight the reinforcements. Easy. The game is easy. Uh, switch. Transfer. Here. Which fuel? I love Rallyable. Just they're my favorite character. Uh, dance. Oh, actually, transfer. Dance. Go again because I like that. Hit Demoiselle and his dual strike. Go here. Separate. There, there we go. Nothing happened. <laughs> All that work just to look cool. <laughs> the least rallyable. That's true. I mean, it's just because Modi pronounced uh, reliable in a funny way. It's the only nickname I could come up with. Okay, do we have a once range character we were willing to use in the Archer? I don't think so. I think we just... Oh, Effie, actually. Effie here. Or uh, Mozu, actually. Here, Mozu's kind of good. Uh, Mozu Korn? We're already at sea. It's fine. Um... Never kill the Shrine Maiden here? No, right? That's silly. Uh, bronze Bow should be enough. This will probably trap them behind blind, so let's keep everyone else here. Nice, dual strike. Okay, now Mozu took the hit. Now can we go back to the one tile choke, I guess? Which I'm not sure... We can still do as reliably if, if we didn't do this, but hey, we sure killed an archer. We sure killed an archer. Let's see, Effie has to be where Felicia is, I think. Mosu doesn't have to be healed right now, so that's fine. Effie goes here. I think we give Corrin to him. The archers can't reach beyond, so if we move Azor out of the way, we should be fine. In fact, if we put Mozu where Azura is, or Gaiman. So I think what we actually do is move Azura without doing anything. This isn't range off. Oh, there's a bolt magnet after that's right. Oh, that's annoying. Did not realize that. In that case, Mozu can't be here. It has to be Corrin. I screwed up. What else is new? Are they short now? Oh, short. I think Effie is hella dead. Bolt Naginata is one hell of a drug, guys. This was not the right formation, was it? I think I locked myself out of ways to kill the Bolt Naginata guys first thing. Block staircase? Well, already, this is my latest thing. I can no longer do this. But, I can do this. And at least be sort of okay. I'm not sure where she goes next, though, because Effie's blocking the square that she needs and then vice versa. I guess I don't have to kill this guy. I die. I die many a time, Robert. I die many a time. I think we just leave Corn up here and we'd be okay. Is Corn sealed right now? No, right? No, they're not. Oh, brass. Oh, brass gives plus two. That's right. We can just chill. Hot oh, damn, Azura, let's go. 20 XP for dancing? Oh. Base unit. And we have another Brass Knight Nata too. Uh, we probably want Corn here then. We fight two? No, we just fight one, right? Stop the archers from flooding in? Dual wields Brass Knight Natas. 
or a brass wheeled dual Naginatas. Whatever your preference is, I'm not judging. No, my defense. They're coming for your defense. I guess Mozu can just always just attack and then dan get danced out. And be okay. Although I suppose Azura is a little bit in an awkward spot here. If the archers ever decide, hey, I feel like killing Azura today. That could be awkward. Best recipient of the XP on the team currently? Uh, yeah, just, uh, it's, mm. yeah no, they'll definitely go for the Azura kill. The problem is that right now Mozu is in lethal range. I think I have to kill this guy and then move. Uh, like, do some weird move shenanigan here to get them both out of the way, but I don't, I don't know if there is one. I kind of think Mozu's dead in her current spot, actually. Either Mozu or Azura dies. But, if I pair her up with Elish Felicia, uh, then, and I give her the. Just dodge? That works too. Yeah, I guess like this is the only way then, right? Then just move Azura out. And then we're kind of okay. I think FD's still like hella sketch right now. Oh, <laughs> it's getting sketchier and sketchier. The suffering is palpable. Uh, we're good, maybe? But how do we heal her with this Felicia character up here? We have to go further back. That's cringe. Uh, we can... We can move further back, heal. Does the archers only have five moves. One, two, three, four, five. Block the staircase? Nah, 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 nah. We need EXP. Over here, I think uh, if you can heal herself, we can switch to Corrin. Actually, how much does Corrin take from all these goons? Two from the dual Naginata before seal defense. That's eight after. We can switch to Corrin. Put let's see, this is all impassable, so we can put Felicia here. Corrin will have two more defense than Effie and last forever. No more seal. Oh, you're right, there is no more seal. Oh, did you know that? I guess there was no spear fighters left. <laughs> That might have been to tell. Alright, let's go Corrin. The Dragonstone. This is, yeah, this is what we can do. Draw Archer, eh. We got 21 effective defense, right? He's got 24 attack. We'll be fine. With quick draw. Uh, we have to put Demoiselle out. For maximum power. Let's trade the bows back. You're fine. Everyone is fine. Quick, you're worrying. Here we go. Three damage. Watch out, Corrin. Corrin's kind of ridiculous. Sword fighters are annoying. Please die. Oh, they don't die. They also don't do damage, though, so... It's fine. Uh, if they just stood here, I could do dance shenanigans. Unfortunately, they don't. Uh, we can do... This. Or, actually, we can do... This. And dance. That doesn't get us anywhere. Does it? Because it doesn't kill. Well, actually, it makes it so that Corrin can preserve the dual guard for next turn, but who cares? Actually, it makes it so that Mozu is... Mozu can move here afterwards. We do like this, this, this. Should probably just use Felicia, because that sets up the kill. No, we need, we need, no, we need, we need Felicia here for Demoiselle, never mind. We can't do dumb things like that, we just do this. Ignore the dual guard, just get the, get the thing. Take Effie. Oh yeah, we could swap them around. And Corrin loses a bunch of defense though. It, it's probably possible. But also, if we won't get Corrin FEC after this, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Oh, this, this guy is just standing here just to dual strike with him, that's cute. Do we allow Undrafted Thieves? I think so. 
I mean, there's no way to get rest. I guess I could drop the brass nugget out if we really want to. Is that would be the end result of not bringing Niles? I vaguely remember we agreed on something with like undrafted Niles and Kaze. I don't remember though. It's literally only for this chapter because next time. No, well, it's also for the uh, the tower one because you don't get Kaze until eleven is over and eleven has other treasure. But you're right. I did not ask. <laughs> I did not ask. I decided to ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Did you use under? I mean, you had Niles, so I guess there's no way for you to know what the rules were. You never had to ask. Can this guy die? Nope. Uh, Effie? I mean, Effie is like buffed again, right? So just one shot here. Like she has her defense back, I think. For the most part, yeah, she's only got one buff. So just do this. Oh, her HP is like no, though. <laughs> her HP right now is at no. She dead. I think if we go. But Effie doesn't need this, so we can do this, heal her, and have Azura go in the little corner, dance, flesh out of the way, and we're fine. Yeah. I too, I do love making those along the way. And we can finally drop Mozu somewhere too. That would be really nice. Perfect. Go Effie. Damn, they hurt so much. Oh, you're attacking me too. Damn, that's insane. Goodbye. Nice. Oh, the Azura free heal. It's gonna be so juicy. Hey, uh, my Effie isn't one-shotting with a Javelin. Um, help. Time to make another turn wheel. Before I suffer. Okay, so it's... Can Corrin, like, kill these somehow? Nope. Yeah, we just murder time him. I think we have to hit some Effies, or we're gonna have Mozu coming for backup actually, so let's try hitting this one. Nice. Yeah. So Mozu with an Effie Parrot would actually one shot this guy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And what about this? No, not that. Are we okay with Mozu taking this hit? Of course we are. She'll be fine. More experience. We probably never need to heal Mozu again, do we? Probably not. We might. I think there's no enemies left besides Hitaka and Mr. Mrs. Shrine Maiden. Develop a program to help grind Azura to level cap? Mmm. No. Withdraw really is something, but it's also just like this is just a very strength plus Mozu with a strength tonic on it. Strength tonic on top. Uh, I don't really have anyone to feed. I guess Felicia always needs more XP to get to level 15. Eventually. Without having to expend dagger uses. Got him. Oh, Azura kill could have been done. That could have been it. Azura technically already has a big speedo, so I don't think I'm not super inclined. Not super inclined. I forgot who my Azura pair up was going to be. My Azura pairing. Do I have one? Azura Benny, right? Okay, that's going to take a while. It's also going to be in the far future. So Azura will definitely get her levels, just not from here. You might want to get a special dance earlier, though. This is always my favorite. So I can't use freeze. Well, I can. I just don't want to. Um, I don't want to. I do. I can't capture him because I don't have Niles. Old Hataka. Forgot what he does exactly on Lunatic. That's annoying. That's annoying. This is just like boring one he wants him. Strong repose is like the ultimate. I didn't read skills. I die. Shit. Like, <laughs> if you attack him on player phase, then on any phase, I think you take nine more damage, right? Because he seals your defense and then he strong reposts you. And then, oh wait, never mind. That's, that's the wrong way around. Mozu on player phase. I mean, it's technically damage. If we pair up, we might double with Felicia. So we can do 24 at reasonably good hit rates. So heal Mozu and try, I guess. There'll probably be a guard cage in there somewhere. We'll try that. Oh, we have to. We have, probably have to dance earlier. We need to see what the combat looks like. That's really good. Finish that with Effie, who can miss optimally. I think Corrin gives a bit of a bonus too. So 
So 24. And then we have a shot with corn for 50 something. And Effie with this with the 54. It's looking sus. Accidentally positioned Nyx next to him. We can also just dance Mozu and do it again. Check this lesson in combat. Oh, he missed. He's, he's dead. He's completely dead. We can still use Corn just for fun, though. Uh, there's no chance of death with Corn. Do we care? I mean, Mozu, right? Mozu gaming? Always Mozu gaming. You never don't Mozu game here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice, nice, nice. How oh, mortifying. Yay, another heart seal. Now we can reclass Effie to Archer as well. I wonder if Effie would have better stats than Mozu at this point. I feel like Mozu has the better strength between the two before the reclass. The little miss. I mean, I've had so many outs there, it's fine. How many, how many turns did we take here? 48. All right, a new record. I got the chest, right? I got this chest. I got the... Yeah, okay, we're good. Nope, Troubadour. No, 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 no. Oh, right, Heart Seal is Troubadour. It'll be, it'll be Friendship Seal. I always confuse all the seal names. Literally all of them. She was one shot, though. Never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Truly. All right, she got seal defense. You're right. Azura, it's awful. All right, all right. So that means next time we get chapter 10. That's kind of based. Uh, oh, I didn't want that. I just wanted to... Well, um, I don't... No. I don't know. Oh, we can build the thing. We can cook. Well, then. Oh, Mozu is a good cook. Mozu is going to cook. Uh, let's get... Mess Hall. I guess we can decide what to cook later. But for now, let's just cook strength or speed or something. Oh, it's Village Maiden, or whatever her name is. Generic. What's better, speed or strength? Let's just do strength for now, and then we'll see what, what happens. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. right? Let's... No, no. Okay, well. Well. We got a part of the army. Not sure. <laughs> I guess Mosu doesn't need it, is the, is the point we're supposed to take here. Okay. Yeah, Baruka next time, that's right. And then Kase soon yes. after as well. Let's just check out chapter 10 real quick. This chapter's preps always takes forever for me, so I'm glad to do it off screen. At least she has a very silly voice, yes. Isn't the Takumi cutscene here? It's because it wasn't Mozu. I'll try to figure out how to get the shift's hat in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And your family and Hoshiro. Now pay for your betrayal. Frick betrayal, dude. Yeah, I should probably kill off the non drafts. You got a membership over a year ago? What's the concept of the time? I know, right? I appreciate it. Yay, finally we got this. Nom 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 nom. Consuming all the support points. Ephimozu B already, damn. Based. Okay, let me do this, 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 this. Five shot of defense, not gonna lie, looks pretty tough to me. I think what will end up happening is try to get Effie or yeah, probably Effie. <laughs> To just one round these guys turn one or something? Or like turn two? I don't think they can get their turn one actually. <laughs> you need Silas to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think we have to take a more slower approach. Maybe even the defensive approach, you could say. This corner is just doomed not to double. Maybe with Felicia pair up and a speed tonic. We have enough to double the Oni Savages. But I don't think we have to attack the Twist Kill anyway. 22. We're like ways away. Let's see what it looks like if I pair up and everything. Because... What does Felicia do again, exactly? Yeah, plus two damage, so... And we're not at C-Swords, we're at D-Swords. So it's just plus two damage, 24 attack. 
13 times 2. With a strength tonic? We actually won round. What the heck? I mean, I think we might have had some kind of clause that I can chapter 10 Camilla is free. I don't remember. Yeah, Modi. I, I think the rule I set for myself is I'll try not to use them if I can. If I can't beat the chapter without them, I will not. I will use them. I think for 6, I used some Silas, some Arthur, some Elise, perhaps. I didn't use Niles and Odin in 7. And then I... I will probably... Oh, excuse me. I will probably end up using Camilla in this chapter. Yeah, cooking buffs when you get upgraded kitchen, mess hall, then you hit the entire army. It's just at the beginning where they have... The, I don't think killing units like individually helps you hit your army always, because as your army size shrinks, so does the amount of people cooked for. But if you kill off all the units you're not using, then technically you have 100% chance of hitting relevant units. But of course they can still hit like Azura with uh, strength cooking. Anyway, uh, so Corrin can one round only savages, which is interesting because then we could do it here, and then we could try to do Fe here. Let's see how far Fe is from killing those. I think we need Corrin for that too, though. Maybe, maybe with Mozu we can do it. We have to break the wall first, though. So it'd be like this. This is obviously not optimal turn one, like the paired up and everything. <laughs> Mozu being so far away, but it would be like this, this, this. Okay, so with uh, with Mosu's shot, oh, we can also do this to like just hit the couple guys first, and then we don't have to worry about one shotting them. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, we don't have to have to one shot them. So for one of these, we can just have Corn do the thing. Yeah, capture generics. Fortunately, I don't have Nile, so I don't have to worry about that. I think we just do this so that Effie can just kill these guys on her own. I think now. 26, she exceeds their strength, so she really has 29. That alone is enough to kill them, so just having anyone work with her works here. Hold on, let me reset real quick to see that ha happen in action. I would like to see that. Oh, I didn't save in chapter. Oopsie. I wonder if it's better to have Effie. Hmm, Effie on our own can do that part, but then we need more people to kill the ninjas afterwards, and there's more people coming there than on the right. Chapter 10 is always so interesting. Uh, I think the RNG will be the same. Oh, this is this was with Strength Cooked, I think. But not on any relevant unit, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Didn't expect that, did, did you? you? Well, I can't kill off the units now unless I go to, like, an invasion. Or some kind of RNG or some kind of DLC thing. Okay, so this time we don't pair up Mozu with the wrong person. Things like this. Zora can be anywhere. Probably this is fine. We might want to put like skill tonics and use in this here because if they miss here, we just die. Okay, so this be Mozu attacks by herself. Mozu already kills the wall in two hits, uh, but Effie already has to move here to get dance anyway. Okay, so strength tonic will just get this this wall kill by itself. So this Felicia thing doesn't even have to happen, which is good because we want to dance for Effie anyway. Okay, so actually, it's kind of important. I hope I save this time. Because now I want a Strength Tonic Fe, I think. Uh, there's no race or anything. Uh, if there was a race, I'd be screwed because Modi already finished his. I have no idea where Grant is right now. I haven't talked to him in ages. Uh, we don't need this Heart Seal on me. I should probably buy Volms as well. People are going to be on their own a lot. Uh, I don't have a thing right now. Strength Tonic. Uh, what's the best Strength Tonic units to use right now? I also don't have shelter dancing for this, which is huge, I think. Oh yeah, he left Patreon, that's right. Sag. He downgraded and then he Welcome left. To my fell storefront. I never heard anything bad from him, so I'm assuming everything is fine. I guess he just needed more monies, which is fair. We all need a little more money sometimes.
Till Jacob, I know, right? And like, Jacob would still need to seal for it. <laughs> it's kind of sad. And he still needs a level two, I think. It's a very weird team, I agree. But that's what that's what's so fun about it. Okay, so did I buy the tonics? I hope I did. I'm getting sleepy, bro. Uh, so probably tonic. Is that you anywhere close to one shotting? Twenty nine hundred croissants. Thirty one from tonic. She's already one shotting ninjas by some margin. She's already killing the spear fighters after the ballista hit. I guess I can't ballista hit if I break if I'm busy breaking the wall. So it'd be actually I don't know if I can kill them. Oh, the archers! I think the archers are pretty good against Mozu. Unfortunately, her defense is just so low. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Okay, with the defense sonic, Mozu actually survives the archers. That's the good news. But the bad news is, I think Mozu needs to be here, and if she goes back then she's not going to beat them to the ballista. So I think that is that is not the way. Um, well, Effie's going to break the wall, and then... It's going to have to be Mozu doing it. So one of those two needs a tonic, so we'll just give it to Effie for now. I'm sure Effie will find a way to put plus two strength to use. I could grab Anna, yes. Second ballista bot, or whatever she does. Uh, I think this is above average for Mozu too. Her strength is definitely above average. Someone should check how above average she is in those in those stats. It's very intriguing to me. Okay, so it's like Iron Bow. Effie. Damn. Maybe Corrin pair up is good here. I wonder if with Corrin dual strike she can do it now. I think there might be a chance it's possible, so we should try it. Just to see how far off she is. I'm not playing this chapter, I'm just checking this out. Mozu has seven defense levels? Jesus Christ. Okay, so I don't want to get ninja If I equip a javelin, I can probably kill the ninjas. Problem is they won't attack me, right? Because... Well, actually, hold on. No, they do attack me. I have... I don't have that much defense. Do I want to get attacked by ninjas, though? I mean, we could try. I think I'm more, I'm more interested in like, killing spear fighters right now. Okay, hold on, let me check that. 21 HP, so that's like fine. 13 strength. She's actually one above average only, so her strength is just good, I guess. Uh, skill 17. This is with skill plus 2? Yeah. So it's supposed to be 15. Uh, 15 speed, she's got 16. So these are like our averages, damn. Uh, 8 luck, 11 defense. Wow. I thought I was getting blessed, but I guess mostly just has good growths. What are her growths again? Okay, I think with a javelin, I think a kill, the problem is dual strikes are... Or rather, not the dual strikes, the, the attacks themselves are very inaccurate. With javelin, I only have... A 99 hit. And they have some avoid too. That's not terrible. It's not great. Especially against the ninjas. Oh, they're not that much more dodgy. I guess we can have some fun with it. The The problem might be... That Korn can get attacked. But Korn has more defense than Effie. With the dragon stone. So maybe they won't go for... I guess it's also worth testing, so either way. I think the dual strikes will just miss a lot, though. Or just the attacks in general. I guess we're all going here. <laughs> Camilla will save the flank, surely. Okay, so that's the easy one shot. If we can get Felicia next to Corrin, I probably. Mm, I think we're good in that anyway. Also, 97 hit, that's not bad. Corrin's adjacency bonus, I forgot about. Okay, that's actually really good. Is she, is she still fine with this? Well, she still one-shots. So we don't need Korn to land the hits. This is thanks to the Strength Tonic. So that's that's well spent right there. Okay, I like this plan. I should build from this. Yes, plus 10 hits is kind of good, turns out. And the Soldier guys. These we also kill with 99 hit. That's impressive. I've never had Effie do this well in Chapter 10. I think it's 10. 10 hit. Hot damn. Okay. We're cooking. I don't remember if I ever killed all these guys in turn one, besides with like Pal and Jacob. We'll need some healing, sure, but that's okay. Man. 
We can even skill tonic corn to get his hit better. B lances, that's something else too. I'm, I'm not playing this, I swear to god, I'm not playing this chat. We kind of need corn to start going elsewhere though. I think we get Camilla one more turn, right? Not now? Yeah, not now. Okay, so corn kind of wants to go off with Felicia on an adventure with these Oni Savages. It's not going to be Bozu's job to fight these guys. Much as I wish that. Uh, for that, Corrin will need a Speed Tonic to double, I think. Um, so with Felicia, we have... Actually, we might nearly have enough. Oh, we still have plus four, so we're at 15. Wait, that's enough. Hold up. We need Strength Tonic, that's it. We need a Strength Tonic. Uh, Mozu would have been good to have down here to fight the Pegasus Knights right away. Uh, Hinata isn't here yet. We can get him, though. I think his armor blow. Ah, chapter 10 is so much fun. I want to play it right now. Ah, uh, we do. Oh wait, my strength tonic is not here. Am I... Oh, it's because I'm debuffed, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I think it's the strength tonic that makes me not beat him by enough strength. Yeah. If we had one more strength on Effie, uh, we'd be able to Poussance Hinata. Right now we're dealing 26 plus one from weapon triangle. I think now that we have C. I think we do like no damage. We do like five damage to him on any phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if Effie should be here alone. Probably with Mozu. I don't think there's a way to have Mozu down here already to fight the Pegasus Knight though. Anna. I don't have Anna. <laughs> I'll look for the DLC. We'll see if I can use Anna. I think I. I don't want to use Ana. Ana is uh, something. Anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for stream today, guys. I am hella tired. It's been a couple fun hours. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming in. I should have another video for tomorrow and Tuesday and all the usual days. Fire Emblem Eight, the Sacred Stones, Lunatic Mode will continue. FE Four finale chapter, final chapter will be up soon. Stuff will be happening. I'm recording a fun series that might have to do with Conquest a little bit. So stay tuned for that. And my new Let's Play will start soon as well, after FE8 is over. So hope you're all looking forward to that. I'll see you around. Thank you for your patronage. Goodbye.